problem now. Eh? Test your and drive. You are driving and making love call at the same time. What is your problem? Please don't go and dump us inside the bush. Ah, 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 ah. God forbid. Hey! Amaka. Hey, now that I'm fully dressed for the king to notice me today, today or all day. Amaka, please don't say that again, Obiko. Oga, leave this uh, love I, call and I, face I, your front. Eh? Honey, uh, I, I am driving. I'll, I will call you back, okay? Alright. I am sorry. I. It's my fiance. She just finished her master degree program and so she came back to the village. <laughs> and how is that my problem? <laughs> how is that supposed to concern me? Please drive! I am sorry. I'm first, sorry. just face your front. Yeah, sorry. Oh, please don't mind this, my friend. Hmm? Amaka, what is it now? Oh, please don't mind her job. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, what did you see, John? The white lion, the white lion, the white lion, the white lion. Darling, darling, Akuama, help! I'm coming. I'm coming. Help! What are you still doing inside the house? You know we are very much behind time. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me just finish up. Uh, just apply my makeup. I'm coming. Finish up. Apply your makeup. You alone. In that case, when you finish up and apply your makeup, then you start coming. Okay, that is even better. You can go. Let me take my time and put my makeup. Hmm? Uh, go. Continue. Hey. Where am I seeing? Hey! 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 Is it? Oh! Take it easy. Take it easy. Help her breathe. Jesus! Hey! Come, come, come! Oh! 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 Leave her alone. Are you the only person that came here? How are you, my daughter? I'm very fine. How are you? You surprise us. Good. Thank you so much. I've missed you, boy. Oh, I'm jealous you are coming. Huh? Yes, Papa. I wanted to surprise you both. Surprising. <laughs> yes. It's okay. But you have lost some weight now. Mama, uh, I sick that, that's person. motion for adjournment. As of now, please go inside and keep your bag. And then you join your mother to Igwe Kemba's palace. Today is his birthday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Others Today are is his birthday. Oh, no wonder. Because I saw a lot of people heading towards the palace. Exactly. His palace is the destination. Today. Oh, Today. Okay. Uh, so oh. are you coming? Okay, but yeah. Papa, you know that's impossible. I don't know, tell me why. <laughs> they journey all the way from Jonestown to this place. Oh. I am exhausted. I try, I try. It, There's it, nothing just like... Just not, there's nothing like impossible in my, in my, in my are, family's go, lexicon. Go, we are coming. Go. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter. Come on, come, come, come. Let me go and prepare your favorite meal for you. <laughs> eh? Come inside. Oh. How have you been? We are fine. Ah. Come, let me, let me go and prepare. Is it rice or what do you want? I Let's go. 
Thank you very much for coming out to honor me today. But my heart is full of joy. Thank you for celebrating me as you all have come out to celebrate me today. So, will the people around you continue to celebrate you? Uh, today is my birthday and I celebrate life. But as I celebrate life, I also celebrate the welfare and the success of the people of Obudoma. Thank you for ensuring that our community is one that is admired by neighboring communities. Uh, I understand that as much as we try, that we cannot reach perfection. But it's also not wrong if we continue to strive and work towards perfection. I continue to promise to put you people first before myself. I promise to put your needs ahead of mine. In all things, the Bodoma comes first to my heart. I understand that we cannot have a perfect community. I understand that we cannot have a perfect situation. But we shall continue to work hand in gloves to ensure that we reach perfection in Obodoma. I shall do my best to continue to reduce the unemployment rate in Obodoma. For those who do not have a job, I will ensure that you are gainfully employed. Uh, for those of you who have your children sent out of school, uh, as a birthday gift, the Royal Home will ensure that you are granted free education. Because I want to live long, I understand the beauty of old age. And I tell you today, my people, that I'm going to take care of the old amongst us. For they shall live long on the land of the living and root the fruits of their labor. Our labor shall not be in vain. Obodoma, our labor shall not be in vain. Obodoma, our labor will not be in vain. Obodoma, Obodoku, our labor will not be in vain. Thank you all so much. I love you, my people. And I continue to love you all. Happy to see you. <laughs> I'm happy to see you too. Uh, okay, so when are we seeing again? You know, I want to take you out and give you a treat. 
Rich take me out again to give me with treats. Babe, please, can you just go out after your daily work? You come to the house so we can have a long conversation. You know, it's been a long way had conversations like partners. Yes. I know. But I need to take you out and give you a treat. Knowing the fact that you're done with your master degree. Okay? Alice, this is your day. I need to celebrate with you and give you the best, you know? And you know we are saving, right? We are saving for our wedding. So why don't you wait after the whole ceremony uh -huh. and you become a big man. You can buy me the world if that pleases you. <laughs> is that your wish? Yes. That's is that wish. your wish? Yes. Is that what you want? Yes. All right. Your wish is my command. Thank you, my love. <laughs> <laughs> I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. So I have to be on my way now. Hmm? Get you. I'll miss you. Fine girl. I'll miss you too. Fine girl. Fine girl. You're so beautiful. Please make sure you take care of yourself for me. Always. For you. For you. For me. For you. Yes. And no one else. My good people of Obodoma, today is a very special day in the history of this great land, Obodoma Kingdom. As Nara Kanakana Edimbo, an anticipated battle does not consume the cripple. As a boy, I won't go to get your the breadfruit falls at its appropriate time. And at this point, our king, the white lion himself, we do the cutting of his birthday cake. We call him Chukwu Kabiyama to guide our king, the white lion himself. And we are saying, may the blessings, may the protection, May the guidance of Chukwu Kabiyama be with him, upon him, and guide him out too. Yeah! Chukwu Kabiyama, we give you thanks for all the things you've been doing for us, for giving this great town a great king, such as Igwe Kemba. And we pray his head as he commemorates his natal day. That the blessings, guidance, protection will always be his and now forever. He so he remains a good king which has always been. He and may we keep enjoying the good rulership. So that our children's children we keep reflecting, manifesting the goodness of Kuchubo Kabiyama. Yeah. And we pray for all this in the name of Kuchubo Kabiyama. Yeah. 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 The white lion himself. Who am I saying? Zara misses you. <laughs> oh my friend. Zara, look at you. Look at you. You're looking all city like. Oh, I'm looking. Do you look at me? I'm looking very skinny. Oh, my friend. How have you been? Where did you come back? Just um, a few hours ago. Uh, and you didn't come to the palace? I, I went there earlier on and it was so filled up, there was lots to eat, lots to drink. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, you guys are having fun in this village. Oh. Trust me, Igwe Kemba's birthday was a blast. I can imagine. The enjoyment was so much. <laughs> but don't worry, when your parents come back, they will just see you. Let's go. See, just go and get all you came back with. Let's just go in. Let's go and get what you came back with. I did not come back with anything. Don't try me. I came back don't with myself. Try me. Oh, <laughs> 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 <
Ogala ya chuku meleze Kote dozi ofodo magina Ikwe kapani runa ina zuko Ubo na fugo Esi mo manuli ganalo, the white lion. If we can't bani ganalo, the white lion. 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 Igwe Ikemba has just proven it that he is the richest philanthropist and king of our time. Exactly. <laughs> this is pure love flowing from a very, very good heart. You can't be more correct than this. Yeah. My greatest joy is yeah. his increment on our monthly allowance. Oh. Hey, I cannot wait to get home and break the news to my wife. Don't be surprised if your wife increases her monthly upkeep. <laughs> Listen, it will be very stupid of me to get back home and announce it to my wife. Because if I do home, both her personal upkeep and the, and the family budget eh, will increase. So I will keep everything into <laughs> here. Uh, anyway, I was only joking. Okay. I, I'm not going to tell my wife anything. Uh, you better you not. Know, it is said that uh, two good heads mm. are better than one to be. <laughs> it is nice you wouldn't tell your wife. Because if you make the mistake, eh? Oh, sorry. Your wife will make you to realize that in the court, we have foul is presiding. Cockroach doesn't go there and win any case. There is no anyway. Do you want Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. See you later. May you live love, Your Majesty. Thank you very much, Lady Chairman. How are you and your family? You're fine. Okay. I just got straight to why I invited you here. Okay. I need um, the number of all widows and widowers, orphans and destitutes under my jurisdiction. Huh? So I assign you the little task of conducting a concise census. And let me have a comprehensive list. Okay. Oh, as you please, Your Majesty. It is something that you can do. Yes, I can do it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ah, may you learn forever, Your Majesty. I can take my leave now. No, we won't. Thank you, Your Majesty. No. Hello, Chikezi. Uh, what exactly happened last night? The entire community suffered total blackout. What happened? The transformer blew up. Why didn't you tell me? If the transformer blew up, we got a new one. Uh, no, no, Chikezie, no, that's not good enough. That is not good enough. Our people would not live in darkness in this community. If there's a problem with the transformer, the semi deportation will get a new one. I am talking to you as your king, not as the government or a politician who promises the people a good life and then they turn around and fail them. I will not fail my people. 
in an if and neku, chick is here. If there's a problem with a transformer, you're not fixing it. I don't want you running back to me and talking about repairs and all. That way you find an excuse to come extort money from... No. Yes, I know you're listening to me. Get me the quotation for a brand new transformer for the people of Obudoma before the end of today. Are we clear on that? Igwa kaka, Ikemba. Igwe, you're taking this too far. <laughs> Why were you not here yesterday? Igwe. I'm not happy. I'm not happy that you were not here for my birthday celebration, given the fact that all the kings were here. It is not what you think. You're supposed to know how engaging and tasking running a kingdom is. I understand, because I am a king too. But I know that there is nothing that you cannot handle as a king of Azuka Kingdom. Like I said, other kings from neighboring communities who had affairs in their communities to run as well. They made our time and they came to celebrate with me. But you were not here. Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. Not when that head is strong enough to handle whatever comes its way. Igwe. Okaka. You're capable. You're just making excuses. You know what I'm talking about. The white light. I am sorry. I should have been there. Please forgive me. Please. It is fine. I forgive you. I hold it not against you. Thank you so much. Ikim, hmm? have you given a thought to my proposal? Sincerely, I have not. Because all we ask is all that we shall continue to ask. The people of Obudoma community would not revisit your proposal until you meet our demands. It is simple, Igwe. <laughs> Ikemba. Don't forget that I'm a king as well. A great king that oversees a kingdom four times bigger than yours. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, I am also the Minister of Petroleum and Natural Resources. And every day I deal with kings of different kingdoms and tribes. I know for a fact that there's a way things are done and things are meant to be done. Why are you confusing the two? I think you're the one trying to confuse us. Huh? For as far as I'm concerned, the way things are done and the way things are meant to be done are one and the same. <laughs> Ikimba, you are still very young. It is best if you do what you are told. Iguakaka, age has nothing to do with wisdom. For I know a lot of foolish old men. Let me ask you, in the interest of my people, will what you're asking me to do make me a great king or a great follower? I ask you, <laughs> for I have decided to remain a great king to and for my people and not to follow. 
He came back. He must tread carefully. A tree might be deceived that his soul's firm. But don't forget, it can be blown off by the wind. No matter the strength of the wind, it can never uproot the grass. Mm. Okay. Papa, my guy. Okay, I am tired of living like this. Okay, this is not life that I am living. This is not life. After three years of serving my master, look at me. There is nothing to show for it. There's no car. There's no business. I'm just walking up and down in this village like a useless and hopeless human being. See, if nothing is being done about this, this whole thing, I, I, I am thinking of doing something crazy to myself. Da! If you stop that, when there is life, there is hope. Never you say you want to give up because of your master did not say to you. Don't say that. I hate that. There is hope. Don't say that. Never you give up in life. There is hope. There is hope. There is life. I'm even thinking of going to see the white lion. Ah, the Igwe. I'm thinking of going to see him. Maybe ask him for assistance. I can work in his palace as a palace guard. I don't know. I'm skeptical about it. I don't know what the outcome might be. You know, I didn't remember seeing you. It's true. The Igwe has been helping a lot of people in the community. He's been helping. Even if you should go to the palace and tell him about your problems, he will solve it. I didn't think about it. So when did you think we should go? Mm. For me now, eh? Mm. I don't know about you. I'm going to the palace right away. I'm going to tell him my problem. I will tell him, see, white lion, if you don't help me right now, I will commit suicide. I will kill myself. I just stop saying that now. You can go away. Eh? It's been helping a lot of people. Good day. I stop saying that you want to give up. <laughs> Akum, imagine what I've been reading. The, 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 the news has it that the Igwe has extended his benevolence to the patients yeah. in St. Teresa Hospital and, of course, the FMC, the State's FMC, Federal Medical uh, Center, by clearing the hospital bill of 150 patients. Yeah. And the five others who have special medical cases, they are promised to fly abroad according to their medical requirements so that it will be taken care of over there. Eh? Eh? The, and the last one that I heard is that the Igwe, he has promised to bring down 50 mud houses belonging to uh, 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 to widows and indigent people and then replace it with modern building. Hey! Hmm. Oh God, oh. Uh. I thank you for giving us this kind of a what king can... in this little kingdom. What if eh? do we have? What if we do? This is just not government. Though. It's not government. Hey. Just one traditional ruler. One man who has seen life as a summum bonum, that is the highest good. You know, you, you know, you know, Jesus said life is more important than the thing used in, in taking care of it. Is you it see, he has seen life as the most important thing so that people will live and enjoy in it. Great man. Huh? What, God, what, please. Oh my God. Keep this what man okay? for us, so Pico. Let, let, let's see. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey. It's a bit now. This is a working, eh? He has done more than Napoleon could do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How are you? Uh -huh. How are you? How are you? Very well, and you? Oh, thank God, everything is copacetic over here. Uh, 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 as you can Amina. see. Welcome. Mm. Thank you, man. Hi. Honey? Oh, I have to go now. So, so. 
Okay. You and you are where? Where are you always in a hurry? Why can't you stay and take something? I, I am fine. I'm not hungry, sir. Obina, come back in the evening. I want to prepare a delicious meal for you. Okay, Mama. Obina, I'm not happy with you. Every time you come here, come and eat, you refuse. Does the food you eat here make you to suffer from dyspepsia? <laughs> Lack of digestion? <laughs> uh, over basic things that mankind should enjoy by here on earth. And that is why I work tirelessly to ensure that our people are gainfully employed, our people are educated, our people have strong values and respect our culture and tradition. Uh, the owner called me this morning to tell me that um, a few persons from our community are affected uh, by a few things. Uh, so we have decided to put everything aside and listen to all of you. Your Majesty, the gauge is a good thing. The white lion. Yes. I'm a lizard, okay, man. I know you are capable of whatever you say. I know that. I am saying, may the gods continue to bless you the more. You say, thank you so much. For I know you will do it. Yes. Uh, so let us start with the young man to my left. What is your name? Igwe. Igwe. My name is Nana. The one his mother came to see last. Are you all right? Your yes, Igwe. Uh, so what is your challenge now? Uh, Igwe, ever since I returned from the prison, things have been very difficult. Igwe, I need a means of survival. Everything is so difficult for me. I need, if it's a job or just to set up something, Igwe. Truth is, young man, um, getting employment um, with any top company right now would be a bit tricky because um, You'll be seen as an ex-convict. Nobody cares if you're innocent or not. Um, I'm going to send you abroad. Hey, Igwe. Hey, Igwe, thank you very much. Hey, help me thank Igwe. Hey, Igwe, thank you, thank you. Hey, Igwe. Hey, hey. So I'll be, I'll be traveling abroad. Hey, hey. Calm down, calm down. Hey, hey. Where's my mother? She needs to hear this. Ah, Igwe, thank you, thank you. Igwe, thank you very much. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, hey, Igwe, hey, 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 your Majesty, I want to further my education, but my parents don't have the money to see me through. Education? Yes, yes. Oh no, education. Yes. yes. Um, education is very close to my heart. The reason we have a rotten society today is that you have a higher percentage of uneducated people and they outnumber the educated ones. And that is why when you look around, you find that the, the worst of us, because they outnumber the best of us, will always lead the best of us. And that is why you find that the continent of Africa and the country we live in struggles. So I would not hesitate to invest in the education of anyone who wants to go to school so that our tomorrow will not be as bleak as our today and our future will be much brighter. Uh, but I'm going to ask you a few questions. I hope you don't mind. How far have you gone with your schooling? I just finished my secondary school and I gained admission, but no money to register. Hmm. Um, how much are you looking at? 50. As acceptance fees, 58,814 naira. Then the school fees is 
150,000, Your Majesty. Oh, so that's slightly above 200,000. Um, you're going to leave this place with a sum of 300,000. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, Okay, now, that's not all. The royal home will take care of your education till you graduate. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you so much. Just help me. Just help my family, thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. May the gods continue to bless you. Uh, madam. Yes, Your Majesty. What's uh, the challenge? Your Majesty, I want to. Hold on. I remember you. You came to me some time ago. Yes, Your Majesty. Um, when you applied um, for a job at um, one Mr. Mr. Bernard's company. Mr. Bernard, the one that was um, sexually assaulting you. Yes, Your Majesty. Yes, I remember I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Um, Your Majesty, I want to expand my salon business, but I don't have money to do that. Please, I need help. It is fine. Um, expansion is not bad. And I'm also happy to hear that um, after that episode, you decided to start something for yourself, huh? Yes, Your Majesty. It is good. How much are you looking at? Um, I, I need like 350,000 Naira to add up to what I have. Okay. Um, how many staff do you have right now at your salon? I have four, you be. Four? Yes. You know that when you expand, you need more hands. Yes, Your Majesty. Okay, so I'm going to give you the sum of one million naira for starters. Hey! Anyway, thank you so much. Hey, Your Majesty. It's fine. I'm grateful. May you reign forever. Oh, yes. Hey, Your Majesty. It is okay. I'm so grateful. Thank oh, you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. It is fine. Hey! It's hey. Fine. hey! Somebody help me thank you, Gwen. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's not say I'm going to say. It's okay. Uh, and the gods of our land continue to bless you. Young man, I know you. I have seen your face before. Yes, I don't know. Yes. Uh, this is the assistant to the youth leader. He is the one. I remember you. They were agitating for pie bomb water. He is the one. <laughs> <laughs> Young man, what's the challenge? Well, Your Majesty, <clears throat> after serving my master for so many years, he refused to settle me. Your Majesty. Please, I need help. I don't mind walking in your palace as a guard. Please. Uh, when did you finish serving your master? It should be three years. And why did you not come to me? Your Majesty, I, I was scared. And I was hoping... No, you shouldn't be scared. You're an indigent. You're, you're a son of the soil. Uh, this is your father's land. Uh, and I was hoping he, he would do the needful, but he didn't. Well, clearly he has not done the needful. If he had come to me, then I'm sure the elders would have, you know, called him to order. But however, that's in the past. Um, so what's your specialty? I deal in clothing. <coughs> clothing? Yes, Your Majesty. So what do you want to do? Your Majesty, if I can get money to, to establish my own clothing line or probably a boutique, I will appreciate it. Okay. You're young. Uh, people of your age range um, find fashion quite interesting. So I think it will be lucrative for you. I am going to give you the sum of two million naira. Hey! Hold on, <laughs> young man, please. Um, I would um, also get you an international passport. Um, help you prepare your documents, um, just like this young man here, so that you can travel to Turkey and bring clothes in. Uh, now, that's not all. That is not all. You start the business, and every month you will bring your books to me. Let me see how you're doing. And if after one calendar year you have done well, 
I'm going to expand that business and have you train five other young men from this community so that they can learn under you and also be as successful. Hey, as oh you. God. <laughs> hey, God. Hey, Your Majesty. Oh, yeah. Hey! I believe what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Igwe! 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 So you are going back today to see that uh, controversial VC? Yes, Papa. I feel for you, my daughter. I don't know what is wrong with these people. What do they want? Eh? I mean, I mean, why, why can't they give you this thing? After you have all the requirements. Uh, it's a fail system. A fail system. Look at them suffering my daughter just because she wants to become a lecturer. Eh? Mama, don't worry. Everything will be fine. Mm. Ah, so, hope you know it's it. Ah. Ah, Obi. Ah, uh -huh. my son, how are you? Fine, sir. Obi. Welcome. Uh, Hey, come and sit down now. Let me get you something to eat before you people go. Uh, uh, Mama, I'm okay. I don't want to eat anything. Yeah. Okay, well, if you say so. That's fine. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay, Papa. I wish you, I wish you luck, okay. eh? Uh -huh. Good luck, my daughter. Okay, Good luck. Okay, uh -huh. mm. I just hope that she will, they will give her this job. Eh? I just, I just don't know. This thing is eating up this, this child. Eh? Huh? She got every requirement. I don't know why. I don't know why. Yeah. <coughs> My love. Yeah. So tell me, how do I look? Gorgeous, <laughs> beautiful, and of course, you know you're the most beautiful girl in this life. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> Let us pray. Okay. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, today we ask for success. We ask for your favor. Amen. Father, I pray that you shall lead my woman. Make her heart to be happy today. Let us have good news today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. I love you. I love you too. Yeah. Here come the one. The white lion that feeds everybody in Obodoma King. I am coming for my early morning take home. Let me see who is going to stop me. And I will tell the person that Mwa, Otenku Mwa of Obodwama. Oh yes, I have a backbone. The only man that is benevolent, man, he can give any human being, including myself, Money for doing nothing, drinking and enjoying his life. No human being on. Hey, evil men of Obodoma, I greet you. Who is he referring to? Biangwaka Nangutanku. Are you mad? Is your name Biggie? How dare you? If I scatter your head now with this man, Kucha. If evil meets evil, it becomes atomic bomb. Don't try me. Don't try me. You think I don't know your evil plans? Hey, I am aware. And that's by the way. <laughs> I heard that my son, my boy, the Igwe Kemba, the white lion of this, our Obodoma, he has been benevolent enough to increase your camp allowance. Oboka camp. Palace allowance. Eh? 
Eh? He lifted your life up. Go and eat. Eat. But I know your plans, so you don't love him. Oh. I know you don't love him. You don't love him, but go and enjoy the lagis. Uh, uh, lagis, lagis. Otenko, eh? are you all right? More. You are calling our king, our equal, your boy. Are you all right? He, 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 is he not my boy? Hey, a boy I carried from there as a baby? Uh -huh. Is he not my boy? Hey, you are not a good student of history. When the, before the father gave back to him, I was at the gate as a gate man. I left the gate. That was when he traveled from abroad, though. Professor. Then he came back. I became a cleaner. From cleaner, personal guard. And I was carrying him. Rocky, Rocky. Oh, baby, Rocky. That is not the issue. He cannot challenge me. Eh? He can. L listen to me. He, if not for the death of my. Otenku, don't go back to the past. However, oh, death. Oh, 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 if the father were alive, can you talk to me like that? I would have been the vice, vice president. In fact, I would have been the, the prime minister of this kingdom. Can you talk to me like that? Don't get me annoyed. Though. Why are we wasting time with this idiot? I wonder. Whoever claps hand with, with a clapping madman on the street is equally mad. Let us go. Hey, you can go. Go. Who is stopping you? Don't try this nonsense again. Evil. Don't try this nonsense again. Evil men. Let me see you in this. Okay. Hey, evil men. Okay. Look at them. Before you fear the devil, fear yes. those red car people moving you. Oh, but don't fear them. Oh, they are evil. Oh. I will not talk. I know that evil machination. My God will never allow any one of you to get me over my dead body. We cannot allow such an opportunity to pass us by. No, I don't support it at all. Honestly, it baffles me why Diwe will turn down such an offer. I, I don't like it. Huh? The truth remains that I am not comfortable with the outcome of today's meeting. Something has to be done, and be done fast. I suggest we go see the Onogu, so he will help us convince the Igwe. Ichi, you have a point there. This is not right. The Igwe is not getting it right at this time. He needs to do something. Ichi, okay, okay, you have a point there that we should see the Onogu to help us convince Igwe. Exactly. Because if someone stays too long on top of Escrita, different manners of flies will meet him there. Uh -huh. Yes. So do we proceed immediately or wait till... Let us proceed. Let us go. Hello, ma. Uh, good afternoon, ma. Yes, ma. Do you want me to take you to the airport? Ah, oh, I am not disposed now. I am not disposed. Ma. I, I I actually took my fiancé to school to do something. Yeah. Okay, ma. So, would, if you don't mind, let me send the number of my colleague. Or uh, I. 
one of my colleagues at the airport as well. Oh, okay, ma. I'm sorry for the disappointment, ma. Thanks for your understanding. No, if it's not too early, hopefully in the next three or four hours, I'll be done. I'll still take you to the airport, ma. Oh, oh okay, okay, ma. Thank you, ma. All right. Hey, GK. I'm here because of what um, my friend, Uju and I, discussed with you earlier. Yes, I can remember. Mm -hmm. But you can't see the king now. Ah. Why now? Okay, no problem. Please. Are you assuring us that we'll get this job? I'm very sure. Very, very certain you'll get a job. I mean, the lady that was working here before, she got married. And of course, the wedding was postponed by the great king in Kimba. Wow. And they both travel abroad for their honeymoon. And the Keshi, the cook, she got admission. So you can see that the palace, they need workers. Okay. So for now, there is availability of jobs here. But one thing I'm not certain about is your character. Listen, we don't need stupid people here. AGK. We are disciplined. Uju and I, we are very disciplined. We are humble. Just give us the job. Give us the job. It's okay. Do we have to go? Then come back with your friend. Okay. Huh? Probably you can be the cleaner while she be the cook, okay. as the case may be. Huh? Yeah. So just go and come back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Otega Otenko. Why Igwe? Otega Otenko. Igwe. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Otega, you are going to choke. You are going to choke. You have decided that you are going to have alcohol in your mouth the day you die. But we are trying to rescue you in this community. Because we love you. Otega, I think that you have had enough just for today. Igwe. Otega, you have had enough. Igwe. 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 With all due respect, I'll take uh, a while. Nico, uh, <coughs> Igwe, uh, when are you going to make me the prime minister of your cabinet? I'll take a. Mm, what is delaying the appointment? What is delaying it? I'll take a, you want to be the owner? Mm. <laughs> it's not a laughing matter, Igwe. Oh, my king, it's not a laughing matter. I'll take a. Can. You want to be the Ono? Hey, okay, okay, okay. Help with the Prime Minister. Uh, now, make me the Ono who of all the DBS in this your kingdom. In this our kingdom, I will catch all the witches and wizards that will try to torment you. Uh, uh, it is fine. <laughs> I'm ready. You want to be the Ono? Uh, I don't go with you. I'm going to process it. Uh, let, me, <laughs> let me think about it. In the meantime, I'll take her. No. I honestly think that uh, you've had enough alcohol for today. Uh, uh, you must begin to think uh, of uh, going back home. Uh, uh, I, 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 uh, one, one, one more thing. What is it? Imana, and ever since you divorced your queen, Juliana. Oh, Julie. 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 Mm, Julie. Julie, you tried to. But she did not succeed. Julie did everything humanly possible to get me out of your way. Mana, she did not succeed. <laughs> you see, everything turned around for me, for my good. Julie is out. I'm still in the palace. Uh, if, if you were, uh, Imana, Julie, Julie, she is not the giving type like you. Uh, she, she wasn't. Um, she wasn't very friendly. She was quite sarcastic in her. And maybe that's just her personality. My way, that 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 queen, eh? She's incredible. Julie, you did everything humanly possible hmm? to get me away from my way. My number, everything turned around for me. Everything is turning around, turning around, turning around for my good. Look, she's out. 
I am still in the palace. If you go, who, who, who lose? Do you lose? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she might not have been the the friendliest of queens, yeah. you know. But um, she was a good person too, and I'd like that uh, we continue to to respect her, mm. you know. Uh, please. Uh, Igwe, Igwe. Uh, that your queen was incredible. Yay! Hey. He, 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 she will tell me. You, got, you smell like hell. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> you will invest the Igwe with invasion. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Mana, at times. She will dash me little, little money. Uh, uh, little, little money. So you I'm remember? To, of you course. Remember? Of course. Uh -huh. Mana, but that's by the way. Uh, Igwe. Mm. When are you going to get another Gibafa? Uh, queen, 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 queen. You want like, another queen? Uh, queen, like, uh, uh, like Juliana. The, the, the office of... Uh, What's the name now? Uh, Ugweze. Uh, in short, uh, when are you going to open it? Oh, do, do, do you want to play the Igwe and Ugweze at the same time? I'll tell God, Tempo. No. You know that you love me so much. Oui. And I love you too. Oui. I'll tell God, Tempo. No. You practically carried me in the palm of your arms when I was a little bit. Be because of your relationship with the royal family. Mm. And since then, I have maintained with you the relationship that you have with my father, the late king. <laughs> and that is why you show so much interest in the affairs of those parents. Quay. We are going to strike a deal today, Otaka. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is the deal. You want another Agueze. Quay. I want you to stop drinking. The day you stop drinking, I promise that I shall present you another way. <laughs> You're still drinking. <laughs> <laughs> You're a wise man. <laughs> okay. I will start drinking soonest. Uh, let this matter rest for now. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So ponder over what I have just told you and let me know what your response is on a different day, not today. Eh? Because right now it is half human talking, half alcohol talking. Over. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Prof said he will attend to you tomorrow. Huh? Yes. Tomorrow again? Yes. It's but he said, he said he said he was going to see me. It's what he said. Please be here tomorrow by one. Honey, it's almost 4 p.m. Let's go to a restaurant and uh, get something to eat. You can, but I'm not hungry. I don't even have appetite. Honey, I've been telling you. Please, put yourself in order. Huh? Everything will be fine. <sighs> Everything will be fine. How? I don't know why he keeps rescheduling our appointments. Maybe he has a very tight schedule. Mm, I'm just tired of this whole thing. It's getting me frustrated. You have to be patient. Trust me. Nothing good comes easy. Okay? <sighs> mm, the man is just... He's a visionary and principled man. We all know that. 
He is not the type money can move around. We all know that. He said, and I quote, I wouldn't want them to go drill the oil found on our land without paying the adequate compensation because it could have a negative effect on our agricultural produce. It could also have ecological damage, negative ecological effect. And anything that has to do with destruction, as far as this kingdom is concerned, the king is against it. As a matter of fact, I, 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 I wonder why we should be discussing this matter, this same topic. Why are we even on the same topic this moment? Oh no. The truth of the matter is, all these can be prevented. Oil. The oil discovered in our land is very little. Oh no. Very, very little. Oh no. We are talking about crude oil here, not Gary. Crude oil. You are talking about crude oil. Then tell you what, Kaka, to pay the adequate compensation. For nothing goes for nothing. Yes. What, what has the king not done for us in this kingdom? The white lion. What has he not done? What is he not doing? What will he not do for us in this kingdom? We are lacking nothing. I'm even surprised that the cheers are discussing this matter. I'm ashamed of all of you. Yes. Other kingdoms around ours are wishing, praying to have a king like this that will be ruling them. And we are not grateful. We don't know the value of the kind of king we have. And we don't know the value of what we have. He sent our children to school. They are, benefit, they are enjoying free education from primary to secondary. Our children in universities are receiving 20000 each as a monthly salary. Can you keep quiet? Let me talk. No, what you should do is sit quiet and listen. Make use of your ears and eyes. Watch me and you listen to me. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Two of your sons were sent abroad by the same king we are discussing here. Does he your first son? Is in China. Ikenna, your last son, is in Germany. What is the problem? What do you want? Okay, is it Akunawa? Akunawa's wife had a case of cancer, serious cancer. The same king we are discussing flew her to India. I'm talking, you are staring at me. Would any member of your family have dreamt of crossing the shores of this country? Or have you not heard? If you have not seen, have you not heard how cancer kills if not given adequate treatment? Oh no, you have just insulted me and my family. Oh no. Oh no, you are going too far. Oh no, bring this discussion back to the topic on ground. This one I just said I'm taking the matter too far. In fact, I am ashamed of all of you, the Ichis. I'm ashamed of you. I don't expect to hear this kind of thing from any of you at all. Is it you? Your son is one of those that received five million naira each from the same king we are talking about. So that they will go and better their lives. Your daughter, Ada, was given three million naira. In other words, within the space of one hour, during one hour meeting, you've gotten millionaire children. And you were here frowning your face. Why are human beings so ungrateful? Why are we so ungrateful? I'm asking you people. Why are we frowning and murmuring over oil, so little oil discovered in our land that could turn against us with time? Listen, anything that will be destructive to this kingdom in future, the king is against it. And we must support the king and his vision for our own good. We 
we must support the king and his vision. You could have just said that. Hmm. At all. He's the worst person for us to have met with for this cause. Wait a minute. Was it not Ichio Kiki who said we should go to him in the first place? As in. What are we going to do? Since the Ono is not in agreement with us. I don't know. I don't really know, honestly. I don't know. I will suggest that we go to Awaigwe hmm? and tell him that Igwe Okaka and the government should be allowed to come into our land to drill the oil. Mm -hmm. Then enlist our community as one of the oil producing communities. From there, development call and life moves on. You're right. You're right, Ichi Akunawa. Let's go and tell him our minds. Oh, let, let us go. Let's At go. Least our community has to be listed among the, the community of oil producing uh, communities. You're right. <laughs> you know, that's we that's can't, why we, we can't miss we can't miss this opportunity. That's why I always call you an elder among the elders. <laughs> Allow those intruders and then what? My elders in council, I'm asking you, allow these intruders and then what? Lose our homes. Our schools. Marketplace. Or how about our farmlands? Our gold mine. We cannot afford to be myopic at a time like this. Mm -mm. I personally do not care about the incentives or dividends that would come from the spillage. For that will be criminal. That will be against the desires of the gods of our land. Chukwu Kika Biyama would not be happy with us. We must remain steadfast. Stand for the truth at all times. We allow these people coming here steal our oil and natural resources. And 20 years from now, what then happens? The beautiful land of Obodoma becomes barren and dry and our people begin to live in penury. And I say no. My legacy as King Ikimba is to make sure that even after I'm long gone, that our people continue to live in plenty. Your Majesty, there are preventive measures according to the oil company. A thousand preventive measures would not make me say yes to this. If these people are sincere, they would not be bringing forth preventive measures. There are laid down rules and agreement for partnership. Why are these people not talking about it? Why do they keep pushing forward their agenda and talking about preventive measures? We sat down, we talked, we agreed. We told them that if you people must set up a drilling station in Obodoma, the agreement are as follows, but no. They talked to a few people in our community to brainwash them so that they can steal us blind. And I say no. We're not hungry people. We have been blessed. Obodoma is one of the richest communities in the world. Blessed with not just human resources, but also mineral resources. God blessed this land with everything that the people will ask for. We're not hungry. Our children are doing well. Our women are fruitful. Everyone in this community can attest to the fact that they are all beneficiaries of Ikemba's care initiative. If anyone in this community has not benefited, let them signify. It is my responsibility to do well as your king and also protect your interest. 
If these people want to work with us, they know what to do. But until then, we say no. Any objections? Igwe is correct. Yes, he's right. He has done so much for us. As a matter of fact, he has done more than so much for us. Extremely so much for us. Yes, you are right. We have to be grateful and thank the gods for the gift they have gifted us with. That's the truth. Yes. In that case, I believe that we have an agreement. Thank you also very much for being so understanding and kind. We will. That was absolute nonsense. Arrant nonsense. Igwe came back, thinks he's wiser than the whole of us, and as a result, dictate to us. I vehemently disagree with everything he said. Now, come to think of it. There are other communities having what we discovered here. Yes. Has anything happened to any of them? Nothing. No. Nothing happened anywhere. It is clear that he is trying to shift our minds from this matter. Thereafter, he will go to Igwe Okaka and take this deal from us. We all know how often the Igwe's daughter comes to the palace and have a good time with her father. Yes, okay, okay. Exactly what I'm thinking. That must be his plan. That's it. You see? <laughs> Which king, which king can reject such an offer? Nobody. We are talking of offer of hundreds of millions. This man is planning to outsmart us. We can never allow it. We must stand our ground. That is good. We have to think on this. Yes. We need someone who will convince him. Someone who will convince him to change his mind on this matter. Yes. I think yes. you I think you're right there. That's what I heard it. I heard it. This one copy. You had what? Who are you trying to convince? Evil James. Who are you trying to convince? Convince over what? Look at them. Evil red cap it chase. All of you evil. You are trying to change somebody's mind for something that is good for the whole kingdom. And you want somebody to convince him to change his mind from doing good. These people are evil. Fear them. Fear this red cap. Jesus. I don't know what your red cap means. It means evil. You belong to evil enclave of witches and wizards, you are poisoned to us in this kingdom now. Why don't you go to your kingdom and change the good things that they have there to bad things to show that you are truly witches and wizards. Leave us alone. You are evil. Get out of this our kingdom. We don't want to leave us alone. Eh? And you are poison to all of us, all of you. You are poison. I know your plan, so, and I can never leave you and allow you to poison our minds. Whoever you are poisoning and you try to change his mind to stop doing good things to us, it will never happen. Otenku will never allow it. All of you, the devil is a liar. All of you will know that. He's always drinking. He's a perpetual drunk. Eh, look at him. Mua drunk. Eh? Who is a drunk? Hey! Me, a drunk. I am your shadow. I am your shadow and you can never run away from your shadow. Otenku, your shadow is moving ahead of you. Follow. You no good, let you. Move with your shadow. Move. 
I follow you. Please, am I seeing Prof today? I'm sorry. He traveled to see his family. What? What is really going on? I thought we scheduled for today. I'm sincerely sorry, Miss Niyama. Ha. This is really not fair. This is not fair at all. But it's fine. It's okay. She won't understand. This one. I have told you before. Relax your mind. Do not get easily angry and then lose the good part at the end of the day. I have spent all week going in and out of that school unattended. This is hurtful. Well, I think that this VC is very tribalistic. Yes. Because he attends to people just from his state, especially the women. That's arrant nonsense. Because my daughter graduated summa cum laude, and as such, she deserved a job. By the way, why should he become that tribalistic when it comes to academic matter? Why? Even if it's not education, no one is supposed to be tribalistic. Uh -huh. When it comes to vital things like that, it's just like uh, employing a fake doctor just because he's your brother and then he will end up killing all the patients. Eh? I think we have to be patient here. That is just it. We have to be patient. It's fine. I will be patient. Don't worry, you will get the job, okay? Generous. Forgive me for keeping you waiting, princess, at this. Your name and fame are spread abroad. Now tell me, how many queens and princesses have come before me? Adese. Adese. <laughs> how is your father, Igo Akaka? He's fine, but not as you are. He sends his greetings. And I receive it. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. You know, you came at the right time. It's, it's long time. Oh, sorry, my cake. Oh, I have something for you. Just hold a minute. Oh, you do? Yes. Okay. Happy belated birthday to you. Even as you grow older, you still look Ageless and cute. Please accept this from me. I know you can afford thousands of feet, but this one is specially from me to you, my king. Ah, Daisy, you will not cease to amaze me. You got me a car. Yes, my king. Thank you. Thank you very much. This means a lot. Like <laughs> I always say, it's always a thought that matters. Yes. Uh, and this one has counted. Thank you. Dala. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, come here. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's good that you came bearing gifts. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, come. Let's, let's do lunch together. Okay. After. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Where is the king? In his room, my princess. In his room? Yes, my princess. Now, is anything the matter? My princess, if you don't like the room, I can take you to another one. Ah, don't worry, uh, I'll be fine. 
Okay. You may go. Thank you. Why put me in the guest room? I'm supposed to be in his room with him. Wait a minute. Is he that? He doesn't find me attractive. I need to find out. Our king needs another poem. So let's make it a serious topic. Yes. But the princess of Azuka kingdom is already in the palace. <laughs> hey, our king doesn't like that princess. Huh? I notice it from his character that he doesn't like that princess. But uh, uh, that princess is already there. She does things day to day, week to week. Behaves as if that place is already her home. Don't mind her. The king doesn't even look at her. Eh? The king doesn't like her. I noticed the body language of the king. He doesn't have any regard for that princess. He doesn't love her. All right. Um, if our king doesn't like that one, uh, we will discuss it with him. So we can actually be on the lookout for another. Yes. Yes. Uh, after all, uh, very soon the festive period will be here. It's around the corner. Yes. And our sons and daughters, friends, uh, relatives will be coming to our kingdom for yes. the festival. Yes. Uh, because uh, the king needs a queen. He needs a queen, yes, actually. He needs a queen. He needs a and queen. he must get a queen. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, oh no. uh, <laughs> but, but that is it. I have a horse, I see. May you reign forever, Your Majesty. Oh, come on. Rise to your feet, please. I am not worthy to stand. Well, I command you to rise to your feet. Get up. Please forgive me, Your Majesty. I saw the horse and thought it was lonely. I needed company. I needed company. What is your name? My name is Miroma. Miriamma is your father. My father is Mr. Eze Onoha. I wish to take my leave now, Your Majesty.
daughter of his own wife. Loves the royal house too. Dad, I will discuss that with him. I will. Daddy, I know, I know. You know he's not easy to bend. He's not. It takes time to fall in love. You don't expect him to fall just like that. I need time. I need time, Father. Yes, yes. I will do that. Honestly, I will. Father, please, trust me, I will. Oh, oh okay, okay, Daddy, okay, Daddy. I'll talk to you later, okay? No, no, no. He's in his chambers. Yes, in his chambers. All, all right. I'll talk to you later, Father. Take care, all. Bye-bye. Who is that princess? She's just busy spoiling all our plans. Hmm. I will not send her, oh. I will not send her. Me, Uju, I am here to shoot my shots. You know the problem? His Majesty is not in any way attracted to her. She's just busy fronting and forcing herself on him. <laughs> so you've not heard or you've not seen what? In this palace that she even bought His Majesty a car. What? Look at this one. <laughs> a Land Cruiser. Tinted glass. Just to get His Majesty's attention. Hey! But for me, Uju, I will do whatever thing it will take for me to get him. I am here to cook the best meal, to capture his mind. Ha! Excuse me. Wait a minute. I'm the one in charge of dressing his bed. Oh, yeah? So I'm... There are beautiful maidens. You look too attractive. There are beautiful maidens. Everyone wants to become queen. But the one who would love you, Igwe, unconditionally is what we should be talking about. But for now, I like to think that we have other pressing matters that affects us in this community. I am not thinking in that direction, as it is, my orders. Uh, um, you are right, Your Majesty. Manasina, Osisine Wumbanagana, hey, Chendo. A king without a queen is like building a house without, without a roof. Uh, uh, we are all aware of what happened between you and Queen Julia. Now we are not gathered here today no, to talk about that. Huh? A queen would emerge when the time comes. So if you don't mind, my others, I'd like for us to discuss other matters. It's all right, Your Majesty. Uh, it's just that we are uh, uh, so much bothered. Uh, because very soon, uh, festive period will be discussed, and activities of the festive period will all be discussed. And we cannot talk about it without having a new queen. Oh, no. I would kindly suggest that you allow this matter rest. I have just declared here that the queen will emerge when the time comes. As it pleases you, Your Majesty. Igwe! Here at the palace today. 
Are you trying to throw me out? Or tired of seeing my face? Adese, my question was simple and concise. Have I overstayed my welcome? <laughs> Adese, I must admit that I admire the artistry behind your manipulative moves. Your father knows, but I am a very rigid king. I am not here because of my father. But take this message to your father. That my orders in council and cabinet will not be cajoled into talking me into agreeing. But your people come here to drill oil from our land without proper agreement. So you think I'm here to talk you into accepting my father's proposal? Hmm? You are the apple of your father's eyes, Adese. Why will you not protect your father's interest? I'm a king. I'm not an ordinary man. A king who will stop at nothing to protect his people. I will protect this land, I will protect my people with everything that I have and ensure that they do not suffer even long after I'm gone. And you think that this, you people, that you are ready to die for, really care? <laughs> are they going to return the favor? Or protect you like you do to them. I will not be cajoled into thinking in that direction. My people have the willpower and the choice to love wholeheartedly whoever they choose to love. Perhaps they are king in this case. Don't let that get into your head. Human beings are never satisfied. Even a saint was killed by his people. My dear Zokaka, tell your father that I will not allow him pollute my land or our rivers until we reach an accord, Concordia. Excuse me. Pretty girl, I've seen your peppers. They are good. And I know you have tried for us to have this meeting. And here we are. You see, we are not always busy as people think. I give attention to those who understand the game in this academy. It is not just by having your good qualifications. It has personal demands. You understand what I mean? I'm sorry, sir. I, I think I am lost. You are such a pretty and intelligent girl. You should understand what I mean. Just have it and everything will be fine. Sir, I'm trying to understand you, but if I get you correctly, you want me to live with you before you sign my papers. You are pretty girl. Let's have it. Enjoy ourselves and everything will be okay. Excuse me, sir. You're making me uncomfortable. I don't like this. 
Why are you uncomfortable? It is just let's come together as and have it. And you have it. I'm sorry, sir. I can't do this. That's a business. You're back so early. Yes. How did it go? Ah, oh, did you see the vice chancellor? <sighs> Same story. Can you imagine the man who wants to sleep with me before signing the papers? What? I don't know. I'm just tired of everything. I'm just weak. <sighs> what kind of nonsense is this? That old, hard-looking man was just, just seated there, bluffing up and down. I don't know why men wouldn't help young girls without getting into their pants. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. I know how you feel. It's okay. We'll get through this, okay? It's just that the man is thinking with his manhood. But we'll get through it. It's fine. How did they go with the mechanic? Oh, the car needs serious servicing, honestly. <sighs> All right, let me just go in and finish with what I was doing. Put a smile on this face. Come on. I'll be fine. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. Come on. I'll be fine. All right. <sighs> I'm waiting. All right. <laughs> I must say, for a king who rules a kingdom as big as yours, you do. Find time, really. Enough time to visit me often. Huh? <laughs> if Muhammad cannot go to the mountain, the mountain does not have a choice but go to Muhammad. But well, I am sure that if Muhammad had something to say to the mountain, Muhammad would have gone to the mountain. The white lion. Mm -hmm. I do enjoy these words we share. But I must say that things have gone a bit far. Have they? Of course. It was not my intention to get carried away with all these frivolities. You are like a younger brother to me. Just like your kingdom is younger to mine. Family is to foreign. Bigger. Even fight. But remain as family. I am happy to see that you're beginning to think in the lines of peace and reconciliation. I will therefore say that it will not be out of character if we begin to retrace our steps to a place of harmony and peace. I concur. In fact, I extend my hand of friendship and a drink that is truly of the gods and is worthy of the king's mouth. Ah! Okaka! <laughs> I see that you came prepared. Uh, uh. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I fear that your hand of friendship might not have been washed enough. And what 
do you imply? God's out of us. Evil can never inform me by day or by night. Evil has swallowed my pride and came here to offer you brotherhood and you spit on it? this <laughs> eh? my daughter is that the only school you want to work with or that mm -hmm. all my life as a child I have always dreamed of being a lecturer in that institution <laughs> this is my dream this is all I have ever wanted <laughs> I'm just heartbroken it's all right my daughter I am going to write the commissioner of education in this state demanding to know from him why a girl who has only text academically to live her dream in this very country why she should be denied of such opportunity simply because she refused to be like others or even sacrifice her dignity on the altar of promiscuity I will do that I don't know eh? Seriously, my husband, you, you need to write. In fact, you need to go to that office yourself. What is all this? My daughter cannot become useful to herself and the society. Do they even know how much Obina spent training this girl? Hmm? And even making sure that she graduated and gone for her master's. This is heartbreaking. I don't know. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. So all, all my efforts of meeting this man, all the stress I passed through, he wants to sleep with me. It's all right, my daughter. That man must regret it. For a mere mention of it, henceforth in his dreams, he will be sleeping with his succubuses. What a country. It's okay. Stop crying. Hmm? Only, uh, do you know you, you're taking a very big risk? And a very bad one at that. <laughs> risk? Yes. What kind of risk are you talking about? Obina. Tell me, how can you train a girl to this level of education? With all your sweats, with everything that makes you a man. And yet, you're refusing to sleep with her. Or even marry her at once. Come to Kennedy, what is the problem? Oh, you think you're the only one seeing the beauty in Miroma? Oh, it's like you want to lose that girl. You can, uh, what kind of talk is this? I don't understand. Where are you headed? Listen, one day, came I had a very terrible dream. And in that dream, you were wailing, you were weeping, crying profusely. My love, oh, Mirama, oh, is this, I'm going to lose all my sacrifice, all my sweats. One day, you're losing that girl. 
I see you losing that girl. Ikenda, I rebuke you. I rebuke anything speaking through you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Tell me. How can you how can you say that a vice chancellor of our state university is asking you girl out? Did I say asking out? Wants to sleep with a woman and you're just sitting comfortably here and saying it. Oh, you're not seeing the signs. Get the laugh, who's I don't see you. I see you losing that girl. You cannot listen to me. I listen real good. Miriama, my girl, mm. it's not a loose girl like every other girl you see on the street. We are bounded by love that no man can break. Not you, not even the vice chancellor. Nobody can come in between us. And let me let you know this, that Miram and I, we are planning to get married very soon. So, just get this naughty thought yeah, yeah. out of your mind. I, forget this story. Let us go and marry this girl before it is too late. Let us go and marry her. Because, I see you losing this girl. Oh. Uh, Obina, I see you losing this girl. I'm not coming for you, Thank you for your candid advice, but please, can you leave my house now? Yes, I don't want to repeat myself. You can leave my house now with your advice. My man, take me here too. Yeah, now I do not want to raise my voice, please. Leave my house. I'm only looking out for you. Think about this. Over. Get out. the dreamer. You had a dream. You came to advise me. There is this uh, medical doctor friend of the vice chancellor. You know, I used to carry him in my cab, but I lost his contact. Yeah, I will go to the golf uh, feud where they used to play golf together i will ask around get his contact then i'll forward it to you so you can call him do you think something fruitful will come out of it yeah sure you know oh honey calm down just calm calm down i understand how you feel huh but we are in this together Honey, listen, your pain is my pain. And trust me, hand in hand, you and I will cross this hurdle together. Do you have to go to sleep? The first thing tomorrow morning, first thing tomorrow morning, I'll go to the place where they used to play golf, then get his contact. Let's give it a try. You never can tell, okay? Come. Calm, calm, just calm down. I understand. Calm down. Okay, my love. I will just go freshen up and try to sleep. All right, honey. I love you so much. I love you too. Good night. God, please. I don't know what's going on. Please help me touch the hearts of these people. Help me touch the hearts of this vice chancellor. Please, God, I really need this job. I need this job. God, please. Ah, you are still here. Mama. I really cannot sleep. I'm worried. I really need this job. But your father went to the Ministry of Education yesterday. And he submitted a letter. Oh, we forget that thing. 
Those letters will be cooling off in the trash can or torn into pieces as the case may be. These people are the same people. Circle of humanizers. I know them. I'm beginning to be worried now. Seriously. These people may harm you. So what do we do now? Obina said he will get a contact and give to me. Mm -hmm. Maybe the vice chancellor's friend. I'll just try to talk to him at least to help convince the man to give me the job. Hey, I pray that works. So. I just pray. Okay, let us go to bed now. Let us go inside. No, stand up, stand up. It's late already. Stand up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go, go and sleep. Yeah, go to your room, go to your room, go and sleep, rest your head. Yeah? All right, good night. Uh, good night to you, go and sleep, yeah? Glad that you like it here. I'll cherish this moment forever, Your Majesty. I'm happy that you feel this way. I am happy too, my Lord. You know, I feel a sense of peace. Happiness each time you're around me. It's a privilege, my lord, that I can make my lord feel this way. Miriama, do you know that you're beautiful? Yes, my lord. Nature is beautiful. Because you're one of God's most beautiful creation. It was a dream. Oh. You must be dreaming about us, huh? A dream that has nothing to do with you. That is it. My king. Your presence around the palace makes me uncomfortable and sure that while you are here, that you do nothing out of character. Why would I do anything out of character Adesa. to a protected king? Adesa. Your mission here is dead on arrival. Your mission will never see the light of the day. <laughs> My darling. <clears throat> Shall we continue this discussion on your bed? I mean, in your sweet chamber. See, forget about what my father wants. Hmm? All I want is for you and I to rule this magnificent God-given kingdom. 
that you have built for yourself, my darling. Have you finished? Of course, my king. <laughs> and I ask, why have you chosen to wallow in your own folly and live under the impression that I would one day fall for you? It is never going to happen at this. The earlier you understand that, it will do you a world of good. <laughs> in that case, I will remain in this palace until you treat me. This is just so annoying. I don't know why men are just so impossible, unbelievable one. Oh my gosh, God, I'm just so pissed. Honey, calm down, please. Okay? Do you know that his friend is a fool as well? Telling me, eh, it's not just one night and I get what I want? That other girls are ready to do it and that was so special about me? That's okay, I, I, I understand how you feel. But it's okay, take it easy. Alright? This is my dream. My dream for so many years and I can't get it because I cannot sacrifice my body on the table of my own career. Kali, we're in this together. Trust me, you will skill through. Hand in hand, you and I will cross this hurdle together. I am with you. We are not seeing any evil. Our ego is not doing anything. My question is, why will Igwe Okaka use his daughter as a trap? When we all know the kind of king we have, that is not the person that can be trapped with a woman. Igwe Kemba is very intelligent to read in between the lines. He's a failed mission on arrival. I mean what Igwe Okaka is doing with his daughter. It's obvious that Uyugwe doesn't want to take the oil contract or do what we said before. As for me, the princess should get out of the palace immediately because she's already a failure. She's not working. I don't think so. The presence of Princess Adeze in the palace is another way of making our Igwe bow. Even if our Igwe is not man enough, the beauty of Princess Adeze we make him succumb. Yes, I believe they are working on something. Let us give them some time and chance. What time and chance? I'm not seeing this. I'm not seeing this at all, honestly. The princess is there just for her selfish interest. She is there to marry the famous king. You are there. And forget about her father's company? Really? Let us just watch. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Igwe. Igwe. Some people... They are praying for your downfall. Though. They are praying for your downfall. Mona. We never allow them to succeed. Never. I hear them. I hear them. Oil. They say oil, oil, oil. Sand, sand, sand. And then pour the red oil on top sand. And I ask myself, who is pouring red oil on top sand? Why? Maka, why no? Red cap chiefs. All your red cap chiefs. Hey, 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 hey. Bia, 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 bia. Don't interrupt me when I'm talking to my ego. 
you can mm. go to your meeting and talk to him. Mana, all your red card chiefs, they don't like you. They don't like you. Be very careful. Watch your back. Now, that was how, if you don't watch your back, remember how eh? your father, they manipulated red cap, oh, red cap. Oh. They manipulated and said he died in plane crash. Hmm? You are here. They are manipulating. Because we don't want you. Anyway, let's leave that one. Hold your meeting with them. Yeah. No. My, my allowance for eating and drinking so I can sustain myself. A man cannot kill himself. Hold on. Hold on. Where are you going to stop drinking? I am drinking. You get me? If only. Let me eat first. Once I collect my lawi and I will eat. And here, how is that drinking? Hey, Otega. Uh, it is well. Yeah. You're my friend, and I promised to always take care of you. Thank you. One age day. Oh, uh. oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. eh? You can go. I want eh? to have a word with Ono. Eh? Yes. You can go. You can oh, go. Oh, oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> Igwe, Igwe, Igwe. Watch your step, eh? Igwe, Igwe. Funny drunk. <laughs> but honestly, Your Highness, you can talk sense sometimes. Oh yes, sometimes I agree with you. I do agree. Um, oh no, something I need to know. This man they call Mazi Onora. Oh, oh Mazi Onora, the one that returned from the north. Yes. Does he have grown-up kids? Mature kids, boys, and girls. You know. Um, Your Majesty. Honestly, I don't know because he 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 doesn't come out. He doesn't mingle with people. I personally, I regard him as an introvert. Oh well, I need you to know more. You would have to do the legwork and get back to me. I also want to know if he's benefited from the Kimba Scare Initiative. It's all right, Your Majesty. Uh, Consider it done. I also need to know if he has a grown-up daughter called Miriyoma. I will consider it done as well. I will do, I will do just that. Oh no, I am quite curious. I... You were asking about my daughter. Yes. Actually, it is the king. Igwe Ikemba. He has been wondering uh, if you and your family have actually benefited from the Ikemba Care Initiative. Yes. Uh, you know, you just returned from the north. Okay. And um, <clears throat> he is, uh, in fact, he, he has just remembered you. He has opened your page. Yes, and um, he wants to extend his kindness, his assistance to your family. So he wants to know if you have children. <laughs> if I have children? Yes. But you, oh no, of all people, you ought to have known that I have a daughter. Eh? As a matter of fact, I had three children. Eh? A daughter, that's a minimum, and two sons. But those two sons, they died about four years ago. Yes, I remember. Sorry about that. 
I remember you once told me about your two sons who died some years ago as a result of uh, maybe kidney problem. Or yes, something. renal problem. I, I, to, I told you and I, I, that I, I, I probably told you that it remains uh, that girl, Miriam. Yes, Miriam. Yes, Miriam. Yes. We have not been seeing her. Where is that Miroma? We have not been seeing her in this kingdom. Where is she? Anyway, she hardly stays in this kingdom. And um, she had just concluded her master's uh, degree course. And um, she's trying to see whether she can secure lecturing job in our state uh, university. Wow, this is great. Uh, she, is, she is indeed renowned. If you say so. Ah! <laughs> wow! Um, you should be proud of her, having such daughter in your family. Mm -hmm. You should be to, so to, proud. To say I'm proud is an, an <laughs> understatement. We are elated <laughs> about her. <laughs> mm. uh, it's alright. Uh, it's okay, Anu. Um, let me ask you this simple question. Uh, um, in case Igwe came back, would want to help your family. In which aspect would you like him to do that? Mm, uh, none, none at all. Huh? Yes, none. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm living comfortably with my family and. Uh, you're okay. You're okay. Uh, on the other hand, I would like to advise Igwe Kemba to continue doing the good work which he has been doing. Eh? Hmm. Let him not relent, no matter what. Eh? Hmm. Uh, on a second remote thought, if there is a help which I would have liked him to render to us, it's for him to bring back our two late sons, which I know it is impossible. <laughs> so that is the need I, I would know. have liked him to help, but it's impossible. You know, of course, that is very, very impossible. You know that. Hmm. Uh, it's all right. Otherwise, we are very comfortable. Okay. Uh, I have to be on my way now. Yeah, let me take the message to the king. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. My, my regards to him. Um, it's all right. It's you, know her. you are a good man indeed. Mm. Uh, just the way people talk about you. Thank you very much. Yes. Mm. I just have to be on my oh, way. Hey, oh no. Won't you stay so at least you can have something to eat? No, thank you. Thank you. No, don't worry about the food. We'll eat some other time. Mm. Yes. It's all right. Let's... Uh, <clears throat> Let me see him off, my dear. Uh, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Like I said, you mm. honestly, you are a good man. His Majesty. Me, I, I, I need that help. I want the help. See my daughter. She needs that job too. Why is my husband always like this? Always claiming to have it all. He, do, he, do, he doesn't have anything. What, what, what kind of a man is this? Mm. So, Papa, you mean you know who said His Majesty wants to help us? Yes, so. That is not what he said. His Majesty is simply trying to know whether we have benefited from his initiative, period. That is exactly what I just said. But you put it in a different language. In other words, you are paraphrasing it. Um, so, Papa, what was your response? Your father said that we do not need any help. Imagine that. Imagine what? Imagine what? What are you trying to say? Eh? That I am not taking good care of my family or what? But we cannot turn down a harmless help from the king. Who has been helping people in this village? 
Harmless help for those who actually need it. Are you hearing me, my daughter? For those who actually need it. But your mother, you, what exactly, what help do you want? Eh? Or are you saying that I'm not taking good care of my family and you inclusive? But this is strange. It's not strange, anything. His Highness simply want to know if we are all right. That's one of the hallmarks, one of the characteristics of good kings of his ilk. But our daughter here is looking for a job in the state university. Don't you think that the king can help in this regard? I mean, sometimes you made me, you, you make me laugh, eh? Because of your poor and childish way of reasoning, eh? Come to think of it, His Majesty is neither the VC of the school nor commissioner for education or anything related to that. How do you expect him to get about doing that? My husband, with his power, Fame and money, he can do this. <laughs> he can secure this job for our daughter. My dear wife, I can see you are dwelling in a cloud cuckoo land. The earlier you come down, the better. Okay? I don't see any cuckoo land here. I know that the king can do it. Just let us give it the chance. Eh? Well. Cuckoo land, cuckoo land. <laughs> Honey, yes, baby. I think your mother is right. Really? Yeah, she's right. You see, the white lion, your king, is wealthy. Very wealthy and highly influential. People do get state government jobs from him, and even private sector jobs from him, just by his recommendation. So, there's no harm in trial. Let's give this a try. So, what are you suggesting? Is it, I am suggesting you. No, I'm not even suggesting. Listen. Go straight to him. Tell him your challenges, your plans. He never can tell. He might be of help to us. I think you're making a point. Of course. I made a point. A very good one at that.
Why are you avoiding me? I doesn't. I doesn't. This is my quiet moment. Will you just stop being rigid? My sweet, handsome king. Listen up. My dad. <laughs> I love you. I want you. I can do anything. In fact, I can even take a bullet for you. I can sacrifice anything just to make me charming and adorable king happy. But you must do one thing for me. Do not make me sad anymore. I need a man like you. I need a man like you in my life. Just make me your queen already. My lord. You don't love me. I do. Of course I do. I swear by the gods. Yeah. Do not use the name of the gods to color your lies. Tell me anything you want me to do to prove my love for you. I would do it. And that would be you leaving me alone. The truth. I am not here on a mission. I am not here because of my father. Of course not. You wish you're not. No, I'm not. I am here because I love and adore you, my precious, precious king. You know what they say, when you tell a lie for too long, you begin to believe it as the truth. I see that you have lied to yourself that you love me, and you're beginning to believe it. But I cannot lie to you, my friend. I dare say. Oh, I, I cannot lie to you. That is it. My king. I have enormous respect for your father, Igbo Kaka. And that is why I have not asked the guards to come in here and throw you out. Please, respect yourself and leave. But you don't have to blame me. I feel so much warmer. Would you rise and leave? How do I call it that? Your choice to make. It's fine. I will go. But I will be back. My lord. Are you serious? Uju, I almost peed on my pants. Hey. It never worked. Never. I have never been this humiliated in my entire life. Hey. Are you telling me that those eyes that he was gazing at you did not work? It never worked. Hey. I thought he was falling for it. The next, he ordered me out of his chambers. I will never, I mean, I will never dress so stupidly again. Hey. I think he's the princess that is causing all this nonsense. No, I swear, she's not. The princess herself is at where he's not. I've monitored them closely. So all her antics, none is working for her. None! Hey! Jesus Christ. 
So, I must tell you, if you have any plan or you are intending to get His Majesty... ...with the wonderful work we are doing in the community. Uh, let me ask you, uh, when you got to that house, did you see the girl in question? Did you talk to her? I actually, I, I, I did not, Your Majesty. Hmm. I see. I see. Uh, there is something interesting about that girl. Something different, something unique. Oh no. <laughs> uh, you'll not understand. Uh, it's okay. Uh, yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> May the gods guide our path. Mediama. She keeps appearing to me in my dreams. Mediama. has come to a point where I got to see her. But what do I do? Do I send for her to be brought to the palace? Or do I just go to her parents' place? Appeared one time too many, and it is time that I get to see you in the physical. is here to see you. I'll be out in a moment. As it pleases you. Generous King Guy Ochidonyo Banya Denua If I get in a conanya a bella but I'm a never if we can bawa White lion, nigga, I am a lesson for me, Sally, Sally, a chef for giver, a chef for giver, you know the best thing for money. Uh, Maka, what can be there? What can be there? It's helping the people, man of goodwill, you know the axe for reward. Maka, Do you know my name? Yes. I know your name. How are you? I am fine, Your Majesty. Thank you for honoring me, for giving me the privilege to stand in your sight. And you are welcome. Would you like something to eat, to drink, anything at all? No, no. Thank you so much. You're fine. Yes, ma'am. Of course I can see that you're fine. Listen. Thank you, Your Majesty. to my palace. Please, feel free to tell me what brings you to the palace. 
Your Majesty, I am a graduate of mass communication. I graduated from the University of Joss, came out to the first class. I also did my master's in the Bauchi State University. I have master's in investigative journalism and linguistics. But I want to become a lecturer in the State University and there is no headway. You want to be a lecturer? Yes, Your Majesty. The State University. Consider it done. <laughs> One second. Educate! Educate! Your Highness. Uh, let me have my mobile phone. So sweet. You're so sweet. <laughs> uh, what do you what do you want? Tell me what you want, I'll give it to you. <laughs> How are you doing, sir? I am fine. I'm fine. May you live long, sir. May you live long, Your Highness. <laughs> well, you wouldn't blame me. The demands of royalty can be overwhelming sometimes, and I just um, find that I'm missing in action. <laughs> and how is your head? How is your family? Good. And let me take this time. Prof, to thank you one more time for the gifts you sent across during my birthday celebration. <laughs> I can't thank you enough. <laughs> ah, Prof, I know that um, you won't work, so I'll just get straight to it. Oh, yes. I have a young friend of mine here with me. Um, she wants... Um, a job as an academic staff in your institute. Yes. Please. Lecturing. Yes. Mass communication. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Prof. <laughs> this one is very dear to me. I can send her over to see you today. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Oh, she'll come see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, uh, it is done, my dear. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. Oh, it's not Thank you so much, my king. It's nothing. Thank you. It's nothing. Hey, GK. Your Majesty. I want you to take her one of the royal cars to her destination. She has an appointment. The Vice Chancellor. Huh? So when she's done, you take her back to her house before you come back to the palace. Am I clear? Yes, All right, get the car ready. Um, Your Majesty. Isn't that so much? It's fine. I can get a cab or I'll trek. Miriam, nothing is too much for you. You already have the job. The meeting is just a formality. Huh? Thank you so much, my king. You get on the job. You do it for a while. You tell me how you feel. And if at some point you don't like it anymore there, 
let me know. I'm going to build you a university and make you the vice chancellor. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my king. Thank you. You're welcome. Come on. All the best. Driver's waiting for you. Thank you, Majesty. All the best. Who is that girl? My princess, which particular girl are you talking about? The girl that was with the king. The particular girl that just left with the chief guard a few minutes ago. Oh, my princess, I don't know anything about her. I know nothing about her. Get me her details before night falls. As it pleases you, my princess. You may go. Thank you. <laughs> a lecturer. He is already in love with the girl. <laughs> he even wants to build a university and make her the vice chancellor. <laughs> What an amazing offer. <laughs> My mission here must be accomplished. Uh, honey? My car, my car, my car broke down. He's not the mechanic of a guy. Eh? He keeps collecting money from me every now and then. I, I, I'm tired. He'll end up not doing anything in the car. I, I've been calling him. His number is not connecting. Okay. All right, honey. I love you too, honey. All right. Oh. You know, I've been telling you to change this car. Change this car and go for a better one. But instead, you went and repented it to make it look as if it's a new one. But meanwhile, it's a very old car. Problem here and there. Today, overheating. Tomorrow, shock observer. Next tomorrow, plug. Change this car. What are you working one day? Ha! Kenna, I have noticed one thing. I don't know why. Is it that? You see, poor people. Poor people, they have bad mouth. Guy. <laughs> You've not been able to buy one tire in your life. You don't even know if you can buy one tire in the next year to come. It's a bad eh? In one. I specifically called you to be here. Please watch after this car. Let me go and see my mechanic. Okay? Yeah. His number has not been connecting since morning. Anamabia. Hmm? So, how much? For waiting. Oh, the vigilante now. Get out. If I blow you, eh? Are you Oh, boy, you're not to. Are you Buy something now. I'm sorry for what happened. I'm very sorry. Eh? It's okay, sir. Thank you so much. Why didn't you tell me that you are related to Igwe Kemba? It wasn't necessary. My bad, anyway. I hope you did not tell him anything. No, not at all. You sure? Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I'm grateful. I beg to take my leave now. That's all right. 
Thank you so much. This beans has so many um, bad, bad ones in it. I don't think I'm going to add them. Let me make it a complete diet. You add a, a plantain for iron. Uh, this thing is protein now, then it's yam for carbohydrates. I'm saying that it has so much spoiled ones. I don't know what they sell these days. Hey, of course. I'll put uh, well, you in. Well, the quantity of those is about bad. It's bad for the best amount. I mean, mm. uh, You have to decide if it's plantain. Is it really normal? Eh? Is it normal? <laughs> Mommy, what is daddy, that was an answer. Mommy, daddy, yes. I am now a lecturer. <laughs> ah, how did that happen? How manage? Okay, I went to the palace to tell the king about my flight to the state university. Uh -huh. His Royal Majesty mm -hmm. called the Vice Chancellor right from his palace and informed him that I was coming right away. The very Vice <laughs> Chancellor that was dribbling you. Yes, you Papa. don't. You That's don't good. mean it. That's no. good. Hmm? And guess what? He asked the palace guards to go with me to the school. Hmm. Getting to the school, everything became stew. Whoa! <laughs> and the Vice Chancellor signed and approved my employment letter. Ozubo, Ozubo. That's my daughter. That's my daughter. So That's you are good. now a lecturer. Hey, hey. I can imagine that vice hey. chancellor wearing long face and long mouth out of ignominy. My daughter is not. Hey, 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 Finally. Oh, thank you. I thank you, God. My God. Without being told, you are fond of her. And who do you speak of? <laughs> I have never seen you treat any of your subjects the way you treated her, especially my gender. I chose to. And I love what I did. I see. So tell me. What made you do it, huh? I mean, a royal car? A convoy? And your special guard. Like I said before, I chose to. But you dare to ask me, the king, why I did what I did. She has taken a special place in your heart. I see it's written all over your face. And you are not far from the truth. Hmm. I don't think you can win her heart. Adesi, I am constantly amazed at your level of brevity and confidence to question my authority here in my palace, even as the king. And I ask you, here and today, are you beginning to take my hospitality for granted? I am only speaking what is in my heart, dear King. It pleases my heart to know that you still recognize me as your King. However, I tell you here and now, Adesi, at the end of your days in this palace is near. I 
do not desire to ask that you leave. But I will ask that you stop making a fool of yourself, I guess. Bridle your tongue. For the might. I love you too, my golden jewel. I have vowed that nothing will ever take me away from you. Same here. It's just yesterday. You toiled, suffered, gave you all, sacrificed hugely for me to be where I am today. I owe my life to you. We will be getting married very soon. I am glad you never disappointed me. I am carrying a part of you. I will never disappoint you. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for standing strong by me. You and my parents are my hero. That's okay. I just can't thank you enough. I yeah, understand. That was in the past. The future is ours. You and I. Welcome to your dream, the most beautiful creation I've ever seen in my entire life. I always love you. Sleepless nights. Oh God, she is the epitome of beauty. She's like the bright morning star graced with intelligence and beautified with compassion and love. Oh, I'm so restless. For a king needs a queen, and I think that I have found. Getting married to my woman. What could be the meaning of this dream? Does it mean that King Ikemba, the white lion, wants to take my woman away from me? Jewel, she's my gold. 
the only thing that I have. Can we be friends? I'm sorry. I do not keep friends. I see. Do you know who my father is? Igwe Okaka. My father crowned your king, Ikema. Are you aware of that particular history? Oh yes, princess. And yet, you don't want to be friends with the daughter of a famous king. Hmm? Like I said, I do not keep friends. I mean, we're your friends. <laughs> Wash your words so your mouth will not get into trouble. That will be all for now. Mama, Mary, because who is that girl uh, and uh, what does she want? Uh, Mama, this lady did not make a single point here. Hold on, Mama, do you mean she left the palace and came all the way to your house to ask you to be her friend? Palace, princess. the palace guards came here and drove off with her. He said that the uh, white lion wants to see her. The white lion wants to see her? Hmm. I was here and they, he came. The two of them left. <coughs> okay, I... I will call her on the phone then. Uh, no problem. Call her. Call her. Yes. We well, have to be on our way now. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank hmm. you, ma. Bye-bye. Why would the king be sending for your girl to come to the palace? Should we pay him a visit? Pay him a visit for what? Some for what? For your girl, of course! Or are you afraid of the king? Look, all I'm saying is that let your heart not be troubled. You can, uh, my very good friend. My heart is not troubled. Alright? Thanks for your concern, all the same. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. Come on. Come on. Are, you, are you sure about this? Absolutely. Me? It's okay. Listen, listen. Should we just pay him a visit? Mm -hmm. Don't bother about the visit. It is not necessary. Why is her number switched off? This is unlike her. I, I don't want to have any negative thought or feeling.
come a long way. That's yes, right. I will not deceive you. You see, what I'm about to tell you now is very important. The next time you visit Mirama in school, try your best and get her pregnant. Yes. Ikenna, have you lost it? What kind of stupid advice is this, Ikenna? Have you lost it? Don't, 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 don't ever in your life make this kind of comment again. Please. Calm down now. Have I said anything wrong? How, listen, listen, I'm looking out for you as my friend. I know what I'm saying. See, I don't want your property to turn to another man's property. Hey, no more. If not me. Ah, for don't give this girl the lessons. Straight up. No time. Unfortunately for you, it cannot no be your girl, it be not my girl. Thanks for your advice, but please keep it to yourself. How do you expect me? To get a fine year student pregnant just because I want to scare her away from other men. Are you stupid? Have you lost it or what? I know what I'm saying. God is helping you now. You are feeling it by your power. You see, all these Chiwakon boys, when they see that girl, they will take her away from you. All your suffering, all your sweat, you have just wasted your time. Kenna, listen and listen to your God. Thanks for your advice. But I want to let you know that Miriam and I are bonded by the love that no one can break. Nobody would love herself so much, we come a long way. Miriam that I know can never in her entire life leave me for any other man in this life. I, Obina, will not get her pregnant. I will wait for her because she will never ever in her entire life disappoint me. You know what? I love Miriam so much. Oh God. This is frustrating. You're glowing. I see that life is treating you well. Now let me just ask for formality. How are you enjoying your, your new job? Very well, Your Majesty. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. Uh, it's, it's glaring that you find satisfaction doing what you have always wanted to do. I mean, really, that's what life is about. You know, fulfillment. Uh, you wake up every morning to something that you look forward to. Your Majesty, thank you so much for everything. I really do appreciate it. This is only the beginning. You're welcome. Anytime. By the way, I have a very close friend of mine I'd like to go visit tomorrow. And I was thinking that you... It would be nice if you accompany me. You know. It's okay. It's fine. I understand. If you can't make it, it's fine. I actually. No, 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 Your Majesty. I'm just surprised. I will go with you. Oh, okay. That would be nice. I thought that you didn't want to be seen in public with your king. No, Your Majesty. 
Huh? <laughs> oh, Mali Changwa. You look like you're shy. <laughs> you cannot even look at your king straight in the eye. Huh? Look at your king. Where are you coming from? From the palace. The Igwe sent for me. I'm sorry, I tried calling you, but you weren't taking your calls. Why was your phone switched off? I had a flat battery. I got home and Mama told me you came to the house with Ikenna. Yes, we came to the house. <sighs> Have you had something to eat? You don't look happy. Okay, I'll just go prepare something for you quickly. Don't bother. I'm going out to share my car. this place and why are you trailing me you recall I once told you to choose your words very very careful right you recall telling me that you don't make real your friends huh <laughs> but right now you are gradually falling in love with a king <laughs> so you want to tell me that you will be so ungrateful to Obina, your taxi driver lover, after all he has done for you, after all his sacrifice. Are you that mean? Are you? Point of correction, my princess. I am not falling in love with the king. Oh, please. And about my relationship with Obina, it shouldn't be a headache to you. Why are you digging deep about me? I am curious, you know. Time. Chatel. Is that not the princess of Azoka Kingdom? The daughter of Yugo Akaka? What did she come here to do? I don't know. She started stalking recently. Stalking you? Why? What for? I don't know. She's trying to cajole me into becoming friends with her. <laughs> friends with her? Why? I really do not know. But let's just forget about her. So tell me, how did your day go? Perfectly well. It is a bit stressful, but I'm good. Yeah. I made you something. Mm. Something sweet as you, right? <laughs> <laughs> anymore. Just tell me and I will not disobey you. No, 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 I'm not stopping you from going to the palace to see the king. You know, as a matter of fact, people go there to, to, to see him for one reason or the other. Hmm? 
I remember he helped in, you know, securing you at work with the State University. Hmm? But if you're not comfortable with it, I can stop. I'll quit. Oh, no, no, don't quit, please. You, you visit any time you want to visit, okay? Now, feel free. Are you sure you're okay? Of course. Very sure. Me. Igwe said I should accompany him somewhere tomorrow. Eh? Yeah, I mean, the king wants me to go somewhere with him tomorrow. Oh, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. You, you, you can go with him. Yeah. Should I go? Eh? I mean, are you comfortable with it? Sh should I go with him? Uh, yes, I am. I'm very comfortable. How is your new friend? The lecturer. She's fine, thank you. Mm. I see. God for royalty. How dare you try to poison the king's drink? What? Shut up! My king, this girl dropped a love potion into your drink. I saw her. I don't know what came over me. Please forgive me. Unless question. Yes, go ahead. What is Princess doing in our palace? What is she doing here? After all, our king has chosen for himself a wife to be. So, what business does she have in the palace? You that princess self. She is there for a business purpose. You mean it? Yes. She has a purpose. She has a target. 
Her, hey. her father planted her in the palace so she can seduce our king. For him to succumb to giving out our oil without them paying the adequate compensation. Oh, yeah, man. That is it. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, but but the, the truth is that the king refused. He categorically said no. Because he knows the negative effect it will have on our people in the future. Hmm. Yes. Oh, well. uh, he I... said, but eventually he changes his mind. They have to assure him of a safer place, a safer heaven. In other words, they have to make a better place for our people, which means we will be having two kingdoms. <laughs> huh? You mean what you're saying? That is the impossible. Way. Impossible. Me living this our land. Oh, my man. You see? Have you seen it? Igwe Okaka refused to comply with the demands of our king. Believing that planting his daughter in our palace will make an impact. Hmm. That's a nonsense. So, it will um, not happen. That is what, no. we, what we were saying before. Yes. You see, in a kingdom where you have wise, intelligent, peaceful men, yes. you don't allow certain things to. How can your friend put love potion in his majesty's juice? Is she out of her mind? Hey. She thinks this, these palace guards are just here to be watching. They are spiritually inclined. And even if you enter this palace today with a gun to assassinate his majesty, it will not make any impact at all. Yes. Honestly, some people need to ask questions. Like I don't understand. She the only one crushing and desiring to be queen. I don't know. See, me in my mind, I'm a queen already. In fact, I see myself sleeping in the Igwe's chamber every night. <clears throat> but I dare not say it. Because if I try it, I'm dead. Like she went too far. Seriously. We are all crushing on the king, but your friend went too far. She really did. She just went too far. Uju, I warned her. Hmm. I told her not to try anything funny. Hmm. But look where her desperation has gotten her. Going look at see. the way she was disgraced out of the palace. Hmm. Can you imagine the humiliation? Oh my God. Would you why? It's okay. Would you why now? It's okay. I know she's your friend. It's okay. Will I lose my fiance? Every woman's desire is to get married to the king of the kingdom. <sighs> Should I stop my fiancé from visiting the palace? Or should I stop trusting her? Will be nothing. Think. Oh, I think I have to do the needful. Yes, I. I know what to do. I. I have to get married. I have to get married. Mirama, my love. Yes. But am I really ready for marriage now? Oh. Mm. Come to think of it, we are disciplined at Castle. Hmm. 
my husband. It has not gotten to that point. My daughter here only said that the highness wants her to follow him to somewhere. Right? Yes, Mama. Mm -hmm. So why are you thinking something different? I am saying it because somewhere down the line, you will start seeing uh, palace cars, palace visitors to offer women here. Just know that all I know is Obina. Eh? Uh-uh, Papa. Why are you sounding this way? Besides, everyone knows Obina and I are meant to be together. Yes. But there is a but. I just hope that everything goes as planned. Mm -hmm. If the king said that you should go somewhere with him, you go now. Is that not a huge privilege? Yes, it is. After all your brain cracking and mental exercise, let me make it clear to you that you cannot convince our daughter otherwise. So be careful, woman. Have I? Be careful! I have not said anything wrong here. I have told you, be careful. <sighs> Mr. Noah. Our Igwe, His Majesty, the White Lion himself, Igwe Ikemba, <laughs> asked me, the owner of this kingdom, to come and present this car to you. <laughs> Frankly, I, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand what, what, what this car is for, huh? What have I done to deserve the car? I mean, everything which is done in life, every goodwill is based on a, a quid pro quo, give and take. What have I done to deserve the car? My brother, Igwe Ikemba has declared his interest in making your daughter, Miriam, his queen. Yes. You are taking care of my house. And I fell in love with you instantly. And since then, I have prayed that you come my way. It was here that I, I saw you and I knew your name, Miriam. I want you. I want to build an empire with you. I want my world to revolve around you and your world to revolve around me. I want to be your king. I want you to be my queen. I want to give you my world and put it in the palm of your arms right now. I belong to a man, my lord. I revolve around his world. He is my king, and I am his queen. I want to remain in his kingdom. I am sorry if my words hurt you, my lord. I have never seen such boldness. Forgive me, my lord. You have a man, you say? Honestly, my lord. Oh, I should have known. I should have known that nothing good comes easy. And when you have something really, really good, you hold it close to your heart.
You are a good king, my lord. To the best of my knowledge, my daughter Miriamma has an inamorato in a young man called Obinna. They have been courting for some years now, so I'm not taking the car. As for the issue of becoming an in-law to Igwe Ikemba, <laughs> I, I am sorry. I, I really am sorry. Oh, oh no, you know exactly where I am driving at. I'm sorry. I can't take the car. Well, uh, Mr. Onoa, the truth is that our king, the white lion, uh, needs a queen. We know you. We know you as a disciplined man, principled man, and all that. But our king, the king of this kingdom, needs a queen. Of course. And, and he has found your daughter worthy of being the woman after his heart. So, as we speak, they are on a date. With due respect to know that is not true. I know my daughter. The person you are talking about is not my daughter. I mean, you have to cross-check your fact very well before making this kind of heavy statement. Mr. So Noah, we have checked, we are sure of what we are telling you. I know Miriamma very well. There are not two in this kingdom. She is the only female lecturer this kingdom has ever produced. We know her too well. Yes. And, uh, and uh, the king is very sure of what he is saying. Yes. We all know her too well. And uh, except you want to uh, let us know that you are not interested in becoming part of the goodies about to happen in your family. Um, we have spoken at length. The, the, pre the peroration is that um, I want to speak with my daughter. Yes, I want to speak with her when she comes back. It's not that I don't like the idea of being an in-law to Igwe Ikemba. But common sense demands that I speak with my daughter and know her mind. After all, I'm not the one who is going to marry. But until then, I'm not accepting the car. I think that's all for it today. You are not going to wear this long face here. Whether you wear it or not, of course, it's not going to change anything. You know I'm not going to support it. Nowhere. Queen or no queen. I'm not a part of it. All I know is Obinna. Yes, Obinna. If Obinna comes to me now and says he is done with our daughter, and I tried my possible best to settle the rift and it didn't work. There's a time I will think otherwise. So you better call your daughter now and tell her that I, the father, wants to see her. Did I say a word here? Did I utter one word here? Hmm. You don't have to utter a word before I understand that you are boiling inside. Am I no longer your husband? How do you know that I'm boiling? How? You are boiling inside, woman. If you, if you were not sitting there, I would have ordered you to go and sit down. Look, let's face it. Every woman will want her daughter to be a queen. Now, what I want you to know is that a queen doesn't necessarily need to be married into a palace. 
If any man is at peace with his woman, be he a rich man, poor man, old, young, royalty, etc., that man is married to a queen. As it is now, you are my queen, and I am your king. Forget about royalty. So that is the education you have to inculcate into the skull of our daughter. Eh? Forget about material. Don't be carried away by it. Of course, you know I'm not going to support it. But I'm not going to support please, it. Please, please, I've had enough. The king. Look at that. Simply because I did not accept a car gift which to me I know is a bribe from His Royal Highness, Iwe Kemba. Now you are keeping your face as if you had a head-on collision with a trailer. Rubbish. Obi, what is wrong with the car again? Honey, honestly, I do not know. The car just packed me up here. <sighs> again? Again, yes. Have you called the mechanic? I called him. He said he's on his way coming, so I'm waiting for him. Okay, let's wait for him together then. Eh? Yes, now. And what about the king? Both of you are coming back from somewhere. Please, go and join. We'll see you later, please. Obin, the king knows I am here with you. I can't go back to him. You're under the sun alone. I have to be here with you now. Please, I don't want troubles. I don't want trouble. Please, I'm begging you. Go back to him. It please. doesn't matter. I will wait. Um, greetings. Is Anesi still waiting for you, Niska? He asked you to come with me. This meeting is hereby adjourned. None of you should ask why the meeting was adjourned. Because we were all there. I mean, none of you, none of you. Because we were all there. His Majesty is really troubled. And my suggestion is that we should give him a break. Today of all day, a day we fix to meet and finalize concerning the oil discovered on our land. Finalize what? Finalize what? Don't shout on me like that, Mokem. Ichi Ojiofo, what are you finalizing? The king has made he stand known, ab initio, on this matter with clarity that the matter is over. So why are you bringing it up? What clarity are you talking about? I wonder. I'm asking you. What clarity? Listen. Ichi okay, okay. The king has made his mind known in this matter. And we are not ready to go against our king. Yes. We can't disobey our king. Because the man is a visionary. We can't disobey him. Yes. So you mean we cannot look into it again, eh? Yes, bam. We cannot. Bam. That's what you are saying, Ichi of Fondo. Final. Okay. Since we cannot look into it again, it's okay. No problem. Ojofo, we should all be bothered about our king's unhappiness. Yes. 
We all saw what happened. His mood. Are you not surprised? So we should be bothered. And again, about all this cold pandemonium and all that. What, what, what for? What for? Why? Why all this? Oh no. Yes, we are bothered about the king's mood. Yes. We should also be bothered about the matter of the crude oil discovered on our land. Uh -huh. So the matter has to be brought back. You are totally confused. I will tell you this. Don't you know I'm going to have a choke? Now, what is it? I'm going to have a choke. No. No sane man runs after a rat while his house is on fire. Honest. Eh? You are totally confused. Is it not the same you that was supporting the king? All of you were actually happy that the king has made a fantastic point. Honestly. Then all of a sudden you change like a chameleon. Why the sudden change of mind? Why? And then bringing back a matter that was discussed, concluded, sealed during a meeting concerning our community development. Yes. Why bringing it back? Why? But we also have facts to present. Which facts? Quiet! Now I don't know why you keep quiet, everybody. Quiet! This matter is closed. It's over. And this kind of meeting will never hold again. Either in the palace or here or anywhere. It is over. I am not satisfied. We will not relent on this. Yes. We have to. We have oil. We have lots of oil in this land. We are richly blessed with these natural resources. No! Akunawa, we must revolt. We have to. All uh, right. Ojiafo, let us see Igwe Okaka first. Yes, because his daughter is failing us by not getting our Igwe to bed to turn his head in our favor. So that we can lay our hands on what we need. Yes. Though I quite agree that uh, the white lion has been trying, but there's every need for him to up, to up the stage. Yes, upgrade. We cannot be blessed farmers and still be eating our, our farm products with a common crab. Eh? Now, if you buy a jeep, is there anything wrong? Uh, I need it. I need jeep. If you should build another duplex in addition to your house, will you die? At all. And I'm very, I'm very sure that if I should marry another two wives, there's nothing wrong. Or uh, even if you marry extra four, there's nothing wrong. Let us see Igwakaka first. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. You have, you have a good point. Oh, let's, let's go. go. Let's yeah. go and see Igwakaka. Yeah. Elder among elders. <laughs> I am not getting married to Igwe Kimba. Who is talking about that? How? I thank you so much for saying that. In fact, I am highly impressed. So, what are you talking? A friend. A friend? Like you are befriending our Igwe. How? Yes, Mama. Igwe Kimba and I are just platonic friends. And that's it. How can anyone think that Igwe wants to make me his queen? Obina is the love of my life and everyone knows that. Yes, we do. We do. I know it. Eh? I said it. I said it. I know my daughter very well. Eh? Now, have you had it, woman? Have I've you had it? I've heard it. Papa, what's wrong with Mama? Don't mind your mother. Onowu and one elder came here with a car. They told me that Igwe Kemba dashed me a car and wants to make you his queen. I told them to go back with the car until I talked to my daughter. I'm satisfied now that I've heard from you. Don't mind your mother. You know, I have always told you to follow your mind. I have never been this heartbroken and dismayed, even as a king. My heart almost stopped beating. 
when Miriam told me that she has a man. Not just a man. But that you are the love of her life. Young man, where are you from? I am from Ikenga Kingdom. Ikenga Kingdom has benefited from my benevolence and kind-heartedness. Over the years, I am sure that you are aware of it. Yes, my lord, I am aware of it. What is your name, young man? My, my name is Sovina. I am trying very hard, very hard, not to be like King David in the Bible, who had so many women but chose to take the life of Uriah because of his beautiful wife, Bathsheba. You know the story of the Bible, don't you? Yes, my lord, I, yeah, yeah. I know the story. I am going to give you the sum of 1.5 million US dollars. A house in London. All I ask, my friend, Is that you go tell him, Miriam? That whatever has a beginning must come to an end at some point. And that your heart has stopped beating for her. That she should allow her heart beat for me. I do not think that I've asked for too much. Have I? No, 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 my lord. You, you didn't. You didn't ask for too much. Good boy. Run along. Thank you. direction. Huh? What 
papa is dead, don't you stop it? God! God, it's true, we should ask you a question, but what am I here for? Why? 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 So my grave is going to get out to the ground with us. The situation is getting worse. I'm afraid we are losing now. Are you serious? Yes. Doctor, can can you run a test on me? If a kidney matches, I'm ready to donate one of my kidneys. Excuse me? Yes. I remember you told me you don't know much about this lady. Um, why do you want to donate your kidney to a total stranger? Listen, young man, this is a 50-50 thing. You might lose your life on the line. Oh, doctor, I will not die. Don't be scared. Jesus I Christ. Want, I want that girl to leave. Doctor, if anything happens to that girl, her parents may not survive it. Doctor, let me get one thing straight. Are you saying that that taxi driver actually delected? <laughs> yes, he did. In fact, he's at the theater as we speak now. Jess? Jess, Jess. This is unbelievable. We don't even know this man. Well, madam, you don't need to know someone before they render such a great help. It happened that his kidney is a perfect match to that of your daughter. All you need to do now is just keep praying for him to survive. God. Honestly, doctor, I'm fidgeting for fear of the unknown. Eh? I mean, okay, can we see him? That will be after the operation. Hey, God. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you. God. I, I hope he will be all right, doctor. Yes, yes. It will only take a little time. It will suffice. Let me ask you. Thank you. It's all right. I will not relent in praying for you. You will not die. God will keep you. Hey, God will keep you. I don't know for whatever reason you did this for my family. You will never know frustration. You will not die. Oh God. Oh. Oh God. My Lord, come manifest your power. My God. Manifest your power. Oh Lord. My God, manifest your power, oh God, my Lord, come manifest your power. Obina, I know you can hear me. I found out today is your birthday. And I am here to wish you a happy birthday and to say a little prayer for you. I can't 
to wait for you to get back on your feet. I am alive and strong today because of you. You are the angel God sent to my life. I can't wait for you to be well again. It's so painful that I am alive and you still have complications after giving me your kidney six months ago. Please, get well soon. I pray for God to heal you. You will not die. You're an angel God sent to me. He cannot let you die. You'll be fine. I know that. I know you'll be okay. I know you'll, you'll get well for me. Excuse me, young lady. At this point, he needs enough rest. Please, just allow him to rest, okay? Okay. Yeah. I'll be outside. Thank you. so much and if you love me please don't hurt me My king, 
I will be returning to my kingdom. But do not forget what we discussed. I will prove it to you that you are not loved. You are just living in your own world. Do not forget to send my greetings to your father. And tell him that I still stand on my word. Why? Why do you still have this belief that I am here for the purpose of my father's business? How dare you? My king. Please. I did my piece. <laughs> king Ikemba, the white lion. Goodbye. Till we see you again. Greetings, Your Majesty. I know you're not fine. Fine. I know you're, you're not comfortable with the king and I. I will quit. I quit in short. I won't go close to him again if that's what you want. Gem, I, I... I think I need, I need space. Some, some, some kind of space for now. Okay. Space? Space for what exactly? Gem, I need to cool off my head. Please. Can you please talk to me? What are you talking about? Share with me whatever it is. Look at you. You're depreciating. You're going thin. You even drink more than you do. What is going on? Talk to me, please. Nothing is wrong with me. I said I need space. I need time. I need to get focused. I need to ease my head. Nothing is wrong. Just give me space. Come on. Give me space. That's what I asked for. Space. My queen, my queen, why are you crying? Hey, you, the most beautiful girl in Obodoma Kingdom, crying? Hey, hey listen, you are a very rich woman. You are a billionaire. I know that the rich also cry. Mana, you are not just rich. We all know. And I know it. Otenku knows it that you have the pure love of a man in your heart. Not all those ones who are doing chere with a love. Mba. You have pure love. And that is why Chuko Kikia Biyama, mm. he has endowed you with richness. You are not just rich. You are a billionaire. You are crying. Eh? Odima. Cry! Cry the cry of joy, you. Because you are a billionaire. I want you to go home, continue crying, and you'll be crying the cry of joy. If you think we think we just talking anyhow, I'm not drunk. I'm saying what I know. Chuko Kiki Abiyama has ordained you that you are a billionaire. Eh? And Everybody will cry the cry of joy with you. I will cry for you. I cry for you. 
billionaire. <laughs> How do they cry? The rich. How do they cry? Uh, 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 uh. You said he told you to give him some space. Yes, mommy. I don't know what I did to him. I don't know. <sighs> give him some space now. Dry your tears. Be a strong woman. No, mommy. I will not. about. Look, you have to understand when a man said he wants some space and you walk away with your shoulder high. Yes. Don't you want to be the way? A famous and a wealthy one at that. No. You can't possibly be telling me that. You can't. I'm sorry, but... Mommy, please. Don't bot me. And please, I don't want to talk about this again. And if you do, I'll tell daddy about it. Okay, sorry. Please, please just... Hey, I'm sorry. Hey. Look at a girl I'm trying. It's, it's, for, her, it's for her own benefit. Hey, what kind of a girl is this? I am trying to convince her so that she will get into this position. Hey. Me, I'm a cop. Gee, what is it? So just come. Ah, I don't want your parents to hear this. Come. Miriam, I heard from a reliable source in the palace that your very own fiancé, Obina, collected 200 million naira from me weekend. Gee, 200? Jesus, oh. what are you talking about? Hard so, what exactly? Never since. See, hey, Kimba paid him off to leave you alone for him. Yes, he even promised him a house in London. Hey, Chizaram, you're lying, right? Oh, Lord, I had it from the label source inside the palace. No, this can't be true. No! Who no, no, are you going to? Who are you going to? Who are Now, how many times I don't want you? Huh? How many times I don't want you? Say, man, no, they bring different babies, they come man. What do you happen to your house now? Alpha, this is not small book. You are calling for you. You won't fuck me up. Fuck you up. Ah. Okay, suppose it's a woman balling now. Come balling, come to see you with, with another woman. I have what you say, she coffee. Say, me, 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 it's not in my colleague for the one gone spoiler. But wait, you 
you don't enter here before. Enter where? I beg, I don't like, I don't like, I beg. Oh, but relax now. I don't tell you, I beg. Alpha, how you work happy now? Do I make you go down or make you go down early? My man. Are they coming? Ah. Greetings, sir. Greetings. His Majesty, King Ikemba, the White Lion, said I should bring you to the palace. I hope all is well. I wouldn't know until we get to the palace. Okay. You know, I won't go like this. So let me change into something better. you told me you wanted huh? after everything our love our promises so this is it right what is going on <laughs> i am lost what is it you saw the love you told me was priceless you couldn't wait you took another woman in into our house Oh, so I, am, I am confused. Don't touch me! I am confused. <laughs> so our love. I mean, to who? Oh, you know, I, I, I can't possibly do that. See, it was Ikenna that brought a girl to my house. Just and shut it! Shut it! You cannot even lie! Look at you! You can't lie! Can you, can you just listen to me? I, I, I didn't... Please just get out of my house. Leave. I don't want to see you ever again. Just go. Honey, come on. You can't. I said you should get out. I don't want to see you again. Leave my house. Leave. Go now. My daughter said you should go. Calm down. Just go. My wife is going on. I don't hurt her. She means a lot to me. Okay. Just respect her. Go. Go. Just go. Oh, be nice. I said you should leave my house. Just Abina, <laughs> go! You're upsetting her the more. Just go! Set up and leave the house! Keep the house! Go! Go now! <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of utmost sincerity, I did not reject your gift. To the contrary, it is highly appreciated. Rather, what I told the Uno is that I need to hear from my daughter. You know, there's this uh, proverb by our people that the mother hen <laughs> always insists on mammalizing eating very well its bread before it starts eating so as to avoid choking. Mazionwa. <laughs> Igwe. I have fallen deeply in love with your daughter. And I need you to help me Convince her. 
I want to make her my queen. Mazi, if you do so, it would be a gesture that I would not forget for the rest of my life. I am willing to give you another gift of 4 million naira in cash just to show you how simple. A life partner is of utmost importance to me. Uh, you know she's the only child I have. But that does not translate to the fact that I will force upon her something that she does not want for herself in her life. To put it succinctly, my daughter has a young man with whom she's seriously in love. Mazi. Mazi. Uh, <laughs> Your Highness. Mazi, it would interest you to know that I have met man. In my lifetime, man of timber and caliber. Oh, her beautiful daughters. Kings of all the communities. Oh, her beautiful daughters. They all come here. Searching. For my heart doing all they can to lure me into bed. Some of them come bearing gifts. But I have fallen for your daughter. For I see her as the perfect queen for this kingdom. It baffles me why you have decided to be a hard nut to crack. Your Highness, I am sorry. Uh, uh, you can see my hands are tied. Uh, to tell myself the truth, because I will always tell myself the truth before telling another person. If I promise you that I am going to influence, let alone convincing my daughter, when it comes to economical matter, I am being economical with the truth. I see. to hear what my eyes saw today. What did your eyes see? I saw Igor Kaka and our king, the white lion, confronting themselves. <laughs> it's normal now for men to fear. It's not normal though. With a gun. Egbe? Yes. And Igor and Ugo. No, our Igbo is not dead. It, it, it's today I knew that our Igbo is a very strong man. 
He has his supernatural power. Do you know that Igwo Kaka and his boys was shot at him? They shot at him, but he did not penetrate. Obaro. Obaro. Uh -huh. I said it. You said what? I said it. Igwe Ikemba is a ritual. Hey! Don't even try it. Our king is a good man. Ah. I'm not disputing the fact that he's a good man. But use your common sense. Where does he bring millions of naira he shares everything? Ah. Stop saying this now. Eh? You know his late father owns big companies in London, Australia, Germany, and the other countries. Oh. What are you saying? His father is like a one hand again. Did you see it with your eyes? I don't even know why I'm here to, to, to telling you telling you the, the news I saw today. Nonsense. You did not see it. Hey, hey, please. Ah, where am I even going? Don't be confused. I beg. So, I, I cook to if you want to eat. Go I know eat your you're food. Still hungry. Why, why will you even come and be telling me such a news? They're literalists. My lord, I, I cannot, I cannot treat my love for Miriam. I, I, I love her so, I love her so much. She's priceless. Spare me. I, I know you have the power to, to do whatever you want to do. I, and, and I, I can't even do an, anything. But please, my Lord, listen to, to your inner good mind. I am an orphan, a very poor one for that matter. Please, Miriam is my love. She's my soul. She's all I have worked, labored, and lived for. Please, my Lord, I, I, I don't want you to to get angry at my, my choice of words, please. Please, my lord. I'll offer you another hundred million, Naira. Please, do not put me to test. Please, don't put me to test. I love, I love Miriam. I, I, I can't leave her. Please, I, I can't, I can't leave her. Please, my Lord. Help me. 
continue to bestow on me the wisdom required of a king. Help me. Miroma. We are here with this khaki on behalf of the king and the entire people of Oboroma Kingdom. We are begging you, please accept the khaki and have a change of mind. Our king is a good man. He he deserves a good woman. He deserves the best. He deserves an intelligent woman, decent woman, like you, Miroma. Please. He has never been this emotional. Kindly accept. Do not say no to this. Because if you do, it will affect his heart. And he could go down. I know what I'm saying. Please. Uh, please. Please. We please. are begging you. Don't turn this our demand. Don't turn it down. Please. 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 Oh? Please. Miriam. Miroma. The true beauty of her mother. The eyes of an angel. The queen herself. The goddess of beauty. You have come to the point of making the entire people of this kingdom proud. Yes. Happy and joyful that they have found their way. Yes. Be the special gift to our king. Because you are a special person. My daughter. I want you to follow your heart. In whatever choice you make, you know I will always stand by your side. That's all. I will not marry the king. <coughs> Obina. He's the love of my life. To love you for the rest of my life. I promise. I swear, I promise. I know you will never trade our love for anything. I believe you. I. I trust you. I rejected the money he gave to me to leave you. God will never leave you. I will stand by you till the end of time. I love you. You're my love. You're my darling. 
My love for you is not for sale. Come up with love. Come up with love. You're my lover. Well, she has made her choice. It's as clear as the daylight. Nothing any of us can do about it. Your Majesty, uh, this is so disappointing. It is unfortunate she rejected to be your queen. Charlie, how will someone reject such an offer? This is unheard of. Unbelievable. History this has been made. This is really strange. Poor people with pride. <laughs> <coughs> they call it dignity. <laughs> <laughs> Right? Somebody, somebody hurt. Somebody hurt. Somebody hurt. Your Majesty. Oh. Oh, well. What am I hearing in my ear? Don't hear nonsense. Do you understand me? Utenku must not hear nonsense. What? 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 What am I hearing? My own Igwe. The white lion sick on the bed. So what happens? Otenku, what happens to your allowance? Allowance? I know what has happened. It is the mach evil machination of those red captives. Oh, you think you can get me? You can never get me. You red captives. If you go, if you go, Otenku, you are above them. You are above them. Oh, they want to take away the king. My baby, a baby I carried in my hands. They want to take him away from me. Oh, mommy. Never! You will have me to contend with. None of you will see my back. Over my dead body will I allow my Ikemba to go just like that. Or then go with deal with all of you. All, all of you. Moa. Igwe, Ikemba, get up. I am coming as your doctor to save you. The king, our king, has a kidney failure. Hey! Hey! This is terrible. So terrible and so serious that both kidneys were affected. Jen, you are lying. You are a liar. Man, I continue. Will you shut up? And who asked you to be here? Ngiwa! Evil man! They're telling me to shut up! That is okay. Is okay? Enough! It's okay now. And why will he say the doctor is lying? Is he a doctor? Is he a physician? A drunken idiotic man like you. Eh, hey, you call me drunken idiotic. It is that your son that our Igwe sent abroad. After removing him from jail, that it's idiotic. He is stupid. He's drunken. He's drunkard. He's drunken and drunken idiotic. Do, do you know? Enough, I said. Enough. What is wrong with both of you? Warn him. In a situation like this. Warn him. Can you imagine? Uh, please, doctor. Ignore all this. No problem. Um, uh, which way forward, please? What do we do? How do we, how do we rescue our king? He must not die. Yeah, exactly, that's what I'm here. At this point, what do we do? Uh, what we need to do, we need a donor. <sighs> donor. Doctor. Uh, doctor, what do you mean by we need a donor? It simply means that we need somebody from this kingdom to donate his kidney. That's what we need, so that we can save the life of our king. Um, um, doctor, just please, eh? cut it down. Wali good here, wali here, kai oti fide, because I got that sort of here. There is no other way I'm going to explain it, except this one I'll explain right now. What we need is kidney transplant. We need somebody to come up, whether it's a female or a man, to come up, so that we can 
ascertain your medical uh, possibility. Yeah, yeah. Here I am. Take my look. There is one kidney here. There is kidney here. Remove everything. Take every part of my body. Let my lion, white lion, be alive. You understand me, doctor? Take every kidney. Wherever you see them, just take them away. Uh, no, 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 no. It's okay. Oh, thank you. That's okay. Uh, please, doctor. Ignore all this, like I said earlier. No we are not going to take Otenko's kidney. He's drunk in kidney. No. For what? Look, look, the pertinent question here is, what are we going to do? Let us get somebody, or let, let, let somebody volunteer. That's the best way to be instead of this second budget. I have volunteered my kidney. What else do you want, doctor? Shut up, maybe see kid. Take this kidney away. Allow him. If he says he wants to donate his kidney, let him go ahead. That might even kill our ego faster. Let him go ahead. Uh, please, doctor. Uh, one more time, I plead. Please, ignore all this. No problem. Um, we will get back to you with time. Uh, allow us some time to sort out things. And uh, we, have, we have children, we have people. We have sons and daughters who can donate kidneys. Even any other part of the body. So, uh, uh, give us some time to... Um, sort things out and get back to you. Thank you, my elders. Doctor, the evil plan will not work. Come and remove this kidney. Remove everything. This man, shut up! Remove the whole kidney. What is your problem? Hey, you are not serious. I can't be more serious than this, Akoma. Our Igwe seriously needs a kidney donor at the moment. He is dying, to put it more succinctly. No, 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 no. Someone, especially the youth, they have to swing into action immediately. Hmm? More importantly, those ones that he helped to better their lives. This is the time for them to save our king from the cold hands of death. Well, uh, Onowu says that he will summon an emergency meeting to that effect. Mm -hmm. okay. You see? Uh, meanwhile, I actually excused myself to come and catch some breath. Eh? So if there is something comestible, please get me to eat. Just say something to eat. All this your big, big grammar. Okay, comestible. Okay. Oh, oh, it's just the same thing. Eh. Comestible and the eatable. Please do the one way. Is it beans you want to uh, swallow? What Anything you, you give me, even if it is poison. No, I will not poison my husband. <laughs> Uh, then go and do it and pronto. I mean immediately. Oh, uh, uh, hey. Mm. Uh, all these hesitations are uh, in, the, in, the, in the face of emergency. Ah, so tell me, when did you return home? I came back last night. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's nice. So you came back for the village festival? Yes, so look at you. You're not looking bad at all. You're not looking bad too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine me. I now own two plots of land in the city. You serious? I'm telling you. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. God has used the great white lion to bless all of us. I'm, I'm doing you. well too and you're doing well. Hmm. I'm happy to hear that. I'm forever indebted to our king. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, um, before we answer um, the elder's call, can we just hang out somewhere, you know, maybe take one or two bottles, talk more about each other before we go answer them. Of course, I'm okay? free. You're good? <laughs> yeah, I'm So free. let me open the door for you. All right, thank you. <laughs> Not, is this not funny? <laughs> is this See, not funny? Let none of our sons or daughters attend that meeting. Yes? For what? Ha! My son just returned from the city for the festival. I will stage him not to come out at all. Better. Ah! My son cannot be a donor so that they will leave only one kidney for him. Oh. Hey, that cannot happen. Okay. Even me, Ichi Ojiofo. Assuming I have three kidneys, I cannot donate one, one for him. If he likes to die, let him die. Don, donate him. what? Kidney. 
the network. Kid me. Listen. I have instructed my children to remain in the city. Uh -huh. They should not come to this side. As a matter of fact, they should not entertain any news from this side at all at all. Okay. When he was busy eating junks, you did not know that he would have kidney failure. Oh, uh, imagine. imagine. For sake. Okay, <laughs> nothing. Chisam. Hey, Mioma. Ah, Chisam, what is it? Hey! Mioma. Igwe Ikemba collapsed during a meeting in the palace. What? Collapsed? How? The doctor diagnosed him with kidney failure. Oh my god. His kidney is badly damaged. Hey. But how? Why? What happened? The elders are looking for a kidney donor. As I'm talking to you right now, the villagers have asked their sons and daughters not to come back to the kingdom for now. Hmm. This situation is high as a high tension. Mm. But why? Why would they do that? Are you sure? Even my uncle has asked his son to leave the village immediately. His son that Igwe Kemba sponsored his business with 5 million naira. And he has no option than to obey his father. As I'm speaking to you right now, he has left the village. That's too bad. That's too bad. A kidney donor. Hey! Oh my God! My husband! This is not true! Unfortunately, it is true. You see, all the youths, all of them, they denied us a help. What is one person? What is this? Not single person, not one. What? You see, this world, this world we are living in, it is good for one to fall sick. Sometimes, so that you know who is who. Hey. Eh? People are very, very ungrateful. All right. I thought by the time I'll get to that very palace, I will see a crowd of people pushing each other. Eh? Men, women, old, young, trying to donate their, their, their kidneys to their Iwe because of his denovelence. But you know what? The reverse was the case. So, Papa, what are they going to do now? Are they going to fly him abroad? Miriam, my daughter, the Onohu said that we should wait a bit to see whether there will be a youth, at least one youth, who will come as a result of second thought to come and donate his kidney so, so as to save the life of Igwe. This is unbelievable. So not even from our neighboring kingdom. Are they not aware? All the people he touched their lives one way or the other, none could donate his kidney. Hi. Everyone is scared. And in fact, some of them are not even interested. But I saw Otengu crying and lamenting that he wants to donate his kidney, if possible, all his body parts. But they refused him. Honey, let's talk of people that matter. Eh? Otengu, even if he has succeeded in giving his uh, kidney or what, it will have been detrimental to the health of the king. A drunkard like him. His kidney must have been, uh, you know, riddled with uh, kidney sclerosis because of uh, too much of alcohol. Huh? We are talking about the youth here. The youth who have benefited from the benevolence of the white lion himself. Huh? The Igwe has 
influence most of them to various parts of the globe to, 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 to better their lives. <laughs> eh? Most of them wouldn't have had the opportunity of seeing the, 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 the wheel of an aircraft, let alone entering inside it. Yet he did it for them. And I was even surprised that they did not mention it even in the village was a platform. It is that bad. What a kingdom. Sad. So, so sad. My darling. <laughs> I remember telling you that no one in your kingdom cares about you. But you never believed me. You didn't. So sorry, part of my manners. <laughs> I also remember telling you that Miriam will never sacrifice her life for you, Osa. Neither will I, my darling. <laughs> King. Ikemba, you are dying slowly, slowly, and there is nothing you or anyone can do about it. You are ready to sacrifice your life for the king. What do you mean by you can't? I said I can't donate my kidney. And please, don't ask me such stupid questions again. <laughs> you can't you do it? I can you imagine. Why are you even attacking her? Ah! Eh? I never said, I never said I was going to die for a king. Mm. She was the one chanting and saying that she, she, she wished to sacrifice her life. She wished to prove her love for the king. Now we need a kidney donor. You've suddenly gone mute. You are mad. I don't blame you. Oh, you want me to go and die? Excuse me. Beto, maybe she was the one that said she wanted to sacrifice her life for the king. Or oh, you think it's by cleaning his chambers? Idiot. But oh, wait, oh. the youth of this village baffles me. So not even one beneficiary could come out to donate his or her kidney for the king. This yes. is strange. This, this, this is not good. Huh. This is not good. This is strange. Did you see the kind of cars they came in here My with? My sister is so... Showing enough cars to tell us that they've made it in life. Huh? Ah. Hey. Now, wow. Life no balance. Oh. At all, my sister. No balance at all. Helping human being a scam. Big scam. Scam! Who <laughs> be lying? Hello? What are you with? I should donate my kidney? No! Did I hear you correctly? Oh no. Why are you forcing people to donate? And why are you even forcing her to donate her kidney? What happened to your own kidney? Or oh, don't you have kidney? Is it not good for donation as well? Tell me! Well, I, 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 listen. Let the chairman listen to me. No matter how much you can get out I have every right to bark like a mad dog, but that's not the issue. No one is asking you to donate your own kidney, no. All we are asking you to do is to use your personality, pave the way, carry us along, reach out to at least our children, at least those that have benefited from Ikemba's care initiative. That is what we are saying. That is just what we are saying. Oh no. With all due respect, I cannot do that. I cannot do that. Then I will revoke your position in this palace. Whatever right you have here, 
I will book it. I will do that. You can't do that. I can do that. Oh no, you cannot do that. I, the Prime Minister of this Kingdom, can do that. I am the chair lady. And you have no right, no position that gave you the right to seize our oppression. You cannot do that. I, I can do that. Oh no, hold on. I, I don't understand what is going on here. Why do I have this feeling that we are faced with a difficult prospect of helping our own? The almighty king you all profess. A man you say you loved. At this critical time, nobody is willing to donate. Let me just make it very clear to everybody. In case if you are too blind to see. If within one week nothing is done, the king will die. From the medical point of view, even if, by, by any way, by the grace of God, the king makes it in a week time, I am not sure the king is going to make it in the upper week. And all of us are seated here arguing over how to help a man that we claim we love so much. We know who is one side arguing, the lady is one side arguing. What is going on? Where are we finding the body? No youths. No I am asking you. No youths. I beg my sons. I beg, I beg, I beg. They refused. I told them it's just a kidney. It wouldn't kill. None of them agreed. Okay, bring money. Let us look for a donor. They refused. Hey, is this how our ego will die? But no. Do you know that since I brought this issue up in my family, my children stopped talking to me. They stopped picking my calls. All of them. Oh no, I understand how you feel. And I would want you to calm down. You are a man. You need to, you need to calm down. Doctor, doctor, uh, you, you won't understand. Uh, uh, can you please take my... <laughs> no, 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 it doesn't work that way. It doesn't. You are weak. You can't just possibly take your, your own kidney. It's not possible. Uh, do anything possible, anything you can to save the life of my king, please. Please. I, 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 this, this is out of it, please. I understand, I understand. We are doing everything possible. We are trying our best to see how we can fly him out of this country. The only constraint we have is that there is no time. And that is what I'm saying. Everybody, they have all deserted the king. Everyone has run away. Even the chiefs, all the chairs, deserted our king. Please, do whatever you can, please. Can you take my own kidney and save my king? Like I said before, it's not possible for us to do that. But I want you to take things easy. <laughs> Doctor, it is not possible to calm down when you cannot calm down. Understand it. I, I do. P please. No. No. People will laugh at us. You don't, you don't need to begin to consider what people will say. Because even if you do the right thing or the wrong thing, people will still laugh at no, you. No, no, no. Okaka, to be the king of this kingdom? No. No. Doctor, no. People should not laugh at us. Please do the best you can. Save my king. We'll try our best. Calm down. Doctor, doctor, please. Find a way to adjust the system. Take my kidney, please. Just calm down. Doctor, take my kidney. I, I understand the curiosity. Just calm down. You, you won't understand. I do. It is not possible to calm down where you cannot calm down, doctor. That, that's uh, what I'm saying. No, no. Why is I not going on? To seal up this deal tonight. Hmm? Five. 
Father, why did you do it? What I do or did not do is not subject to be questioned by you. Why did you have to go this far? Hmm? Is it for the money? Power? Or for the fact that there is a man whose will you cannot bend? If you cannot suffer this victory with me, then you shut up. I need to know why you did that to King Ikemba. He is going to die. You are my father. I need to know why the man that betted me is so evil. Evil! Father, please, tell me. I need to know. At this moment, you don't speak to your father. You speak to your king. And do you dare question your king? Get out of my room before I lose my temper! Get out! Your friend and king is dying. You left him to die. I thought you loved him. My king will not die. And yes, I love him. And you can't change that fact. So, why are you scared? Hmm? Go and see him. You know you are going to die. You are scared of death. Huh? I will not die. No, my darling, you will die. You will die because I know that you have just one kidney. One. Oh! You are surprised on how I got to know. I am a wealthy princess. If I snap my finger like this, every information I want concerning anyone will fall begging at my feet. <laughs> Obina here gave you one of his kidney and saved you from death. Hmm? And that is why you love him so much to the point of not listening to all the love words and feelings of your king. <laughs> hmm. I thought as much. I asked myself, who is this woman that will reject a handsome, intelligent, rich, and famous king like King Ikemba. <laughs> I must confess, it has been such a long time. I've not seen a woman that has such courage, such determination towards her man. Kudos to you, my darling. You and not a cheat. You have to leave now, princess. <laughs> Your wedding is in two days. Congratulations. Okay. 
Okay. My Lord. Igwe. Be strong. You are the white lion. The Gaji Ejemba. I see the girl who will be near you when he will. You cannot bow out this way. For if you do, the vulnerable animals will fear for their lives. But can we send half number? Okay, get a GC and you go. Dike Jani, you see. Be brave. Be strong. Keep breathing. But if your spirit, your soul becomes weak and weary, then I may not have any choice than to do the needful. Makona bundu di abia wa hando kanga ba kaya. I will have no choice than to do the needful. Hmm. My fellow elders, I greet you all. Our people say, a stitch in time saves now. It is only when you actually don't know what you are doing. That is when what you don't know how to do will elude you. I want to announce to all of us here without <clears throat> wasting our time. We, the elders, representing the three villages of Obodoma, have agreed without missing words to a throne chief Agu here as our next Igwe after the demise of the white lion. <laughs> ah, but you know, how dare you open your mouth and vomit that load of rubbish? When cabinet member like me have not even thought of that. The truth of the matter here is that you don't even have any authority whatsoever to change what we have decided in this palace. Amazon. You are just an auxiliary cabinet member. Have you forgotten that? You called who an auxiliary cabinet member? How dare you? How dare you call me an auxiliary cabinet member? You are an auxiliary cabinet member. Uh -huh. You are down. the one. If I should be afraid of uh -huh. animals with horns, uh -huh. let me you now. Shut up. Let me walk on now. Enough. Enough. Enough of this. I will dislocate your jaw. You Sit cannot. Down. Sit down. Sit down. Why are you doing this? Huh? Are you kids? The Igwe is dying. Jagitating inside the chambers on his sick bed, and you all are here huffing and puffing. Is that how you do your meeting here in the palace? Eh? I mean, that, that's quite preposterous. Here we should be talking about the solution, not even about trying to enthrone another Igwe. One of our local pro uh, proverbs says that a uh, 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 tree should not still be alive and people start talking about harvesting mushroom on its trunk. Yes. That is bad. I took an exception to that. So let everybody behave in herself. Look, you are not even a cabinet member. Uh -huh. So you have to keep quiet and listen. Our Igwe. You are interested in our oil. That is why you are doing all these things. You would have come out open now. <sighs> ah. 
I kept quiet because I am not the kind of person that barks like a mad dog. Not me. Betrayal. I remember what my father told me in those old good days. That no one I will go to see the Luana. Why you Unfortunately, that is true. When a mighty tree falls, a woman crosses the tree fearlessly. Are you trying to tell me that both of you will have the God to rise and face each other, talk back at each other, almost wanting to fight each other? If the king, if the king, if the white lion is strong and standing or sitting on his throne, can you do that? Hi. You are staring at me. Betrayer. Can you do that? You cannot, of course. Betrayer. It's quite unfortunate for both of you. However, I, as the Prime Minister of this Kingdom, hereby declare this meeting baseless, useless, nonsense, and closed. No, 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 we cannot have, with all due respect. You cannot do that. In fact, you can't even say that. The Council of Iches have elected me as their next Igwe. Sure. Instead of thinking of how to crown me as the next king, you, you are here doing all this. In fact, if you don't want to crown me, Igwe or Kaka will do that. I am the Prime Minister of this kingdom, the Kingmaker. Oh. And I have said it. This meeting, as far as I'm concerned, as far as Obodoma Kingdom is concerned, is baseless, useless, and nonsense. Oh, oh I see. You want to be crowned the king so you can now come for our oil and sand. You. Oh. And I talk about heavy in the way. This sort of meeting will never repeat itself. Oh, no, who is a very stupid. Hopeless huh. and useless human being. Just imagine. I don't blame him because he's as short as Pitakula. If not, if not, huh. why will Ono disagree with our decision that Shiv Ako should become the next Igwe? Eh? Who is contending that? Who? Ono who cannot. None of the Igwe and council members can. Eh? The, whether they like it or not, Shiv Ako is going to become a Igwe. And none of them can do anything about it. Ono oh, is a very stupid man and he knows it, of course. Why are you even bothering yourselves? Chief Aku is going to be our next Igwe. Sure. All we need to do now is pray so that the Igwe dies immediately. Ah. Thereafter, we install Chief Aku as our next Igwe. Ah. Simple as that. As for Ikemba, we don't need to pray about him. He's going to die either this night or tomorrow morning. He will become a dead. <laughs> the, the stupid Ono, what he has failed to know is that once Chief Aku becomes our next king, yes. Windows of prosperity open to our our com our yes, community. Exactly. A lot of opportunities we call. Yeah. And look at him walking, walking like walking like tortoise. Don't Who is he? Don't As a matter of fact, just not the, uh, it is not between us and, and him. Oh yes. If he thinks that short people because he has is it because he has the opportunity to become the no. And the truth is, hey, once she for the the the, 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 the way, yes. eh, we have. We have windows of... This money is from Shifako. <laughs> he said he's very glad that the three of us, the three important men, yes. I mean, the three wise men of this great kingdom are on his side. <laughs> exactly. We are solidly behind him. <laughs> you know, Igwe Kimba is dead. Or do I say he's almost dead? Ah, he will soon die. And custom demands that when an Igwe is packing up to join his ancestors, yes. someone should be warming up. Exactly. We must crown Chifako. That's it. Imagine a king in this modern era. Uh -huh. Just how can he reject the beautiful offer?
from Igwe Okaka. I imagine. Then that means he does not want our kingdom to be recognized as one of the oil producing kingdoms. Of course, that's it. He wants to deny us of the good benefits that will come from the government. And that is the more reason we should fight hard, push hard for us to achieve this project. My elders, I greet you. You are welcome. This is my take on the matter. Before I, the youth leader of this kingdom, will mobilize youths to converse for Chief Aku to become the next king of this great kingdom. He will have to give us a sum of 3 million naira and also sign that the money that will be gotten from the oil will not only go to his pocket. Rather, each and every one of us here will benefit from it. You have spoken wisely. This is a very good recommendation you have just made. Thank you. <laughs> uh, My youth leader, you have spoken well. You have nothing to fear. Hmm? Everyone, I repeat, everyone will be adequately taken care of, especially those within the inner caucus that are pushing, <laughs> eh? yes. pushing and fighting for the success of this project. That's good to hear. The lion, the light that shines so bright amongst his people, the river that never dries. Yes, you are the Lord, you are the King, you are everything your people see in a ruler. But you must remember, behind every progressive man, there is a beautiful woman. Behind every progressive man, there should be a wise and accommodating woman. You are beginning to hate my people too much, Julie. And I ask you today, what have my people done to you? I never hated your people or hate your people. They are my people as well. I am the first lady in this kingdom as far as leadership is concerned. All I am telling you is for you to be careful with these people. You have to be careful with these men, for they are like ungrateful Jews in the land. Well, be their Jesus, they will still crucify you. I wouldn't want my Lord to feed these vipers that will still stink you tomorrow. You are the viper. You are the viper. Juliana, anyone who tries to come between me and the love I have for my people is a snake. You are the viper. Well, I see a dark future looming. I see these people craving, striving, and praying so hard for you to be pulled out. I am the white lion.
Uh, Igwe Ikemba. I am indestructible. Juliana, today I bring an end to this union, for you are not qualified to be the queen of this kingdom. I beg your pardon. You are going to be hearing from my lawyers. Get your things together and leave the palace at once. Oh my gosh! Iken! Ikenba! from tender just like a seed that grew and blossomed into a beautiful love story I know you don't want to see me cry or say some hurtful words You have always been my friend. You have always been my love. You have always been my everything. The lion that shields my heart with boldness and confidence. I will never let you turn your face from your people. I will always pray for you. I will continue to pray that your people don't turn their faces against you when you need them most. so much about you. I will always be there for you. Whether you call me or not. May you reign forever. My Lord, My hero, the white lion. Your Majesty. The office of the First Lady of this Kingdom. The Queen of Obodama. Is hereby closed. Indefinitely. Uh, uh, your Majesty. Oh no. I am not going to dwell on this matter. Please. Uh, I'm sorry. So sorry, Your Majesty. Is that okay? I'm sorry, Your Majesty.
Я буду на нем, да, я буду на нем. Я буду на нем, да, я буду. Умерами ке мату я алоки чуку. Умерами My king, great men are legends. They leave their imprints on the sands of time. They are the pillars and lifters of all the men. Deacon, the white lion, you're all that and more. The world needs you now more than ever. We all miss you, our great stallion. We all can't wait to have you back on your feet again. We love you. I No. Why we are here mm. tonight is to let you know that if anything happens to our king, if we look for our king, we don't see him. Maybe he joins his ancestors untimely. We will then submit your name to Ezemu as our next king. Yes. <laughs> Um, oh no, let me say it outrightly to the hearing of everybody here now that I have no interest at all for becoming the next Igwer of this kingdom. And as a matter of fact, I am praying fervently for the quick recovery of my Igwe. Believe me when I say this. But I have a very strong faith that Igwe Kemba is not going to die. If he dies, it means I'm going to abdicate my religion. My dear brother, do not talk like that. We are only but a passing phase in this cruel world. Everybody, I mean everybody, we answer the Creator at the appointed time through either illness or sudden death. So, what I am telling you now is that amongst all the mortals in this kingdom, you are the only one that we have found to be honest. This is what I want you to know right now. I am not ready to take up that task. And he will come back. He's not going to die. One does not boil hot water 
believing he will fall down from a tree. So my brother, we should not decide for the gods. But I have always said it with confidence that that good man is not going to die. We are all confused, yes. But we have to relax our minds, pray, make sacrifices, and continue seeking for solution. The palace may be divided, but it's my prayer that that doesn't lead to anarchy. Um. Yes, we can always say anything we feel like saying, but the truth naturally remains what it is. Let me tell you this. Ichio Keke and others came out so plainly for us to understand that they truly are the flies that perch under the school room. Yes. Hmm? Yes. But I tell you, naturally and chemically, they will pay for all their deeds. Definitely. I, the Unu of this kingdom, we not watch Ichiako become the king of this land. Eh eh. Oneh me. It does not happen. It is not possible. The Aku in question is so close a friend to Igbo Okaka, remember? And it is a pre planned arrangement to bring Aku as the king. Of this land so that he can defile our land and grant an opportunity for Igbo Okaka to become a force, a strong force over us in this kingdom, which is not possible. My elders and husbands, please do not relent in striving for peace. Yes. For the sake of our children mm -hmm. and posterity, That's I why. beg of you. Um, that's exactly what we are doing. And I don't think uh, there will be war. No, there won't be any problem. No, at, all. Good. at the end, I believe the wheat will be separated from the chaff. Mm. That's yes. one thing I know. Thank you. Thank you for your pacifist stand. And again, and again, I believe the good man is not going to go down. You have been told not to dictate for the gods, for you are not the gods. The gods see, Father, they know better. Many wish him dead. The Igwe is still tossing and turning on his sick bed inside his chambers, while the chairs are busy planning for his replacement. Simply because the doctor says that there is no hope. Eh? This is the zenith of insensitivity I've ever seen. Going to three days now. Three days. No single person has come up to them in this. No donor at all. None. Hey! This is how they want this good man to die. People are wicked though. All the people that have benefited from this man. They've all run away. Hmm? People are so wicked and heartless. Hey! That's the world for you. I mean, that's why a good king or even a good man should not. Only one! My only child! Hey, I want to do what? You, you want to kill us? You won't do it. No! You cannot do it. Miroma! I will give my king my only kidney. No! You are killed! If I die, I die. Hey! Hey! You think about us? Me no matter me! 
Is this is this chat? Is this chat? Is this chat? Is this chat? I don't know what I... has come up over this very girl. You didn't bring her back. I couldn't catch up with her. She was running like the wind. Eh? I don't know what has come over this chap. Are you sure she is not possessed? <laughs> I don't know what has come, o come over her. Eh? Eh? What does she want us to do in a time like this? This time of the night, where do we look for her now? Just one kidney. Why am I repeating these lines to you over and over again, my dear friend? Will you die for him? Will you? Nah, 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 nah. Because, my darling, your wedding is very close. But hold on. How can you be alive and watch your king? Die very slowly, slowly and painful. You are weak and helpless, just like your friend and every other person in this kingdom. You're not my princess, if I must say. You are infringing. My dear lecturer, go and save the king. Your king. <laughs> or die for him so that your man can marry a beauty like me or any other woman. I challenge you. I challenge you to die for the king. Die for the white lion. Again. Don't listen to that princess. Don't listen to her. Mima, she's a loser. A very big one at that. Mima, please, I am begging you. I am pleading as your friend. Don't listen to her, please. Ha <laughs> <laughs>
you, you have you have to force it to remember this day. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's, it's so funny. Oh, let's <laughs> listen. <through. laughs> that was so funny. You know, <laughs> who knows where the young man will be by now? I think I need my. This is another level. Let me laugh, laugh. I tell myself. <laughs> I don't want to get I don't drink. I, drink. I don't want to get That's not my fault. I don't drink. I don't want to drink. Let me have my. What's this? What's this? I think you're all new. Going nowhere. I'm tired. What do you mean? You have to carry me because I'm How tired. How can I carry? I can't carry you on my back. Bro. Romantic carrying. Oh, come on. I keep romantic. I don't want to fall. I don't want to fall. I don't want to fall. Look at you. Alright, fine. Don't worry. Let me clean it up. Girl, you my angel. You my darling angel. I will clean you up. You will never guess it. <laughs> Okay, now you don't want to back me. Can I carry you? Yes. And what if I can't carry you? Carry me! Well, what if I can't do it? Alright, let's see. Mm. Jump! Ah, and look at her! You're so light. I'm, go I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw you. <laughs> ah, ah, I'll throw you off now. If you don't. Come. This is not the hub. Why did she fall that way? What is the meaning of this dream? I hope all is well with her. I'm so sorry. I'm in a lot of pain. Uh, uh, nothing will happen to you, Your Majesty. Nothing. I know. I'm in so much pain. Nothing will happen to you, Your Majesty. You will live long. Please. Take my kidney and save my king. Please, Doctor. Oh no. Please. Doctor, please do it now. Please, Doctor. Doctor, please. Take my only kidney and save my king. I beg you. Do it now, Doctor. Do it now. Do it now. <laughs> You will not die, my king. Please hang in there. Hang on, my king. 
instead of you to die. I would rather die. <laughs> Don't go making. You're not going anywhere. I'd rather die than let you go. Don't go making. Please. Don't go anywhere. Let me go instead, please. I beg you. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. No. Madam, are you coming? Yes. Are you the taxi driver? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, where are they going? Um, I'm going to Bodoma Kingdom. Oh, Bodoma, Bodoma, Bodoma. Okay. 3,000 naira, ma'am. 3,000? Okay, yes. that's too much now. Ha, ha. Okay, I'll pay you one five. Ah, uh, one five too small, though. For this economy now, for this country. Ha. A little of fuel. How much for a little of fuel? I never let us buy. Okay, make it not be so again too much. You don't call me, you don't call me. Um, 2,500 man. That's... Ah, 2,500 is too much. Okay, let's do 2,000. Huh. Auntie, no vex. Okay, okay, just hold on. Madam, are you okay? Sorry. Sorry, ma'am. Said that she would be coming back since yesterday. But up till now, she's not here. Mm. Let's be patient. She will be here. I know, I know. I have the faith that she must come. Patient? Her line suddenly went off. She can't be reached. Ah, I am beginning to be worried though. Eh? You know, she complained about her health issues all through last week. I am worried. I am more. Like I said, let us wait. Let's be patient. We will not know exactly what the problem is all about until she gets here. It's this huh? one that one cannot reach out before. That is why I'm so worried. Please don't walk up yourself. Eh? Don't raise your blood pressure unnecessarily. She will be here. Okay? Oh, oh. Who is it? Is it me or my, our daughter? Hey! It's our daughter. It's our daughter. Oh my god. Minim! Our daughter. Is it? Hey, our daughter. Eh? Minim! What is wrong? Uh, what is wrong with her? What is wrong? I don't know. Minim! You can't make it. What is wrong with you? You can't make it. Don't say that again. You can't make it. 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 You on your phone, you are just you, boy. Eh? The remaining child. Minima, don't do this thing to me. Hey, hey, where do I end? Hey, hey, enter, enter. Go on, enter now. Oh my God. Hey. Help 
us. She is the one child, the only child we have, please. The only one help us. She um, must not die. Um, madam, madam, calm down, okay? Calm down. Okay. Like I said, we need a donor now. Her kidneys are bad, really bad. We need at least one kidney to save her life. Hey. Uh, doctor, are you saying that if we don't get a donor, that she may likely die? <sighs> well, yes. <laughs> the bitter truth there is that if we don't get a donor now, I'm afraid <laughs> we may lose her. Um, doctor, you, you earlier told us that uh, both her kidneys are bad. Then on a second breath, you told us that uh, if we can see one, one kidney that it can sustain her, I'm confused. My question is, uh, can that one kidney sustain her? Uh, uh, physiological activities for the rest of her life yes sir that is if it's gotten from a healthy person and well managed can we get that too it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay you mean she don't have any relative or anyone who could be of help at this point in time. No one, my son. I have tried. We don't have a close relative. Not even one consanguinous relative. Eh? We don't have money to fly her abroad. Eh? Or even to secure a kidney transplant. Eh? I'm just lonely. Helpless in this wicked world. That was exactly how I lost my two two hefty shots. <laughs> eh? Two sons. Yes, two sons. Just like that. Eh? Fate is not being fair to me at all. I don't know why. I don't know why. Eh? I I believe nothing will happen to her. Amen. Amen. I want to encourage both of you to be strong. But let's trust the God of 11th hour. The God of every impossibility. He has never failed before. And I believe he will never fail at this point in time. Because he's a God of every impossibility. Let's believe in him. Let's trust in him. He will do it at his own time. It's alright, my son. It's alright. Go about your normal business. On our part, we have we have to, to. I'm just confused. I'm confused. Sir, you don't need to be confused. I'm confused. But please, Finally. you don't need to be. You have to be strong. You are the man of the house. If not for anything, you have to be strong for your wife, please. Third year in the university. Third year in the university. All our efforts. Would that be then? My God. God gone down the drain. All the efforts gone down the drain. Just like that. Mama, calm down. Eh? Mm. Just calm down. Don't do this and increase your BP. Please. See, Mama, I have strong faith in God. That Miyoma is going to be fine. I believe in God Almighty. See, Mama, this is just a phase. Eh? You saved me from the cold hands of death. I will never wish an enemy to go through what I went through. It was a hell of pain for me. I 
I saw my dead brothers even fighting for me to go back to our poor and helpless parents. When I woke up from the hospital bed, I felt no pain. All the pain, all gone. I felt light, like a newborn baby. Then I saw you. All I could remember was the taxi driver who dropped me at my father's. And I broke down into tears when my father told me you gave your kidney for me to live again. Miriam. I will be with you till eternity. You are the gold, silver, and diamond in everything in this world. I can't stop thanking you enough for this kindness. And I will not trade your love for anything in this world. Because you're priceless. I believe God brought us together for a purpose. You know, I am happy. I'm happy that I saved a dying soul. I was scared that very day. But God gave me a second chance. Can I believe He gave me a second chance? So that you and I will be happy together forever. I love you. I love you more than you love me. Doctor, what are we waiting for? Doctor, there is no time. I beg you, please, doctor. Doctor, take my kidney and save my king. I beg you. Doctor, there is no time. Oh, doctor, no. Please. I heard of the king's illness. That's why I am here. I am here to save a life. The life of a good man. They say the good ones die young, but not this one. Doctor, please take my kidney and save the life of the best king. I know. <laughs> Is that not the sound of the Ugeni that announces the death of Igwe? Now, is the Igwe dead? No, not, no, that's not the sound of the real Ugeni that actually announces the exit of Igwe. Eh? But even at that, something might have gone wrong somewhere. By the way, where do you say our daughter went? Minioma? Huh? Where 
is this this chap? Hey. the situation of things. So everyone is even watching the palace right now as I speak to you. So please, let's go to the palace. My friend, at this point, you need to be a man. You need to man up. And let us go to the palace and get your wife to be. Again now, how do you explain this to me? That in the whole of Obodoma kingdom, not even one person that is willing to give his or her kidney to the king. Why my fiance? My fiance has only but one kidney. Why her? Listen, we understand how you feel. Trust me, we do. But that is life for you. Kindness is a gift. And only few has it in life. everyone else. <laughs> Such a nice man. Where do I go? Where do I go from here? NGK on is finished. <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> 
that we have lost our Igwe. We are sad. We are very sad. A great Iroko has fallen and the birds have scattered with a loud sound. He was a good man, a father and a great king. He had the interest of the people at heart. We cannot overemphasize that. It's all laid out and we have seen it all. But the truth is, life must go on. Hey! Igwe! Igwe! Hey! Death, why did you not take me instead of taking the good man away? What am I living for? Why did you take him away dead? Hey! Where are those evil, evil 
red card we chase. Go that man. Go that man. Stop 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 that Look, listen to me. You people came by where and you think you will stay alive. You, you people, you came and you think not to have their food. I will cut you. I will cut you. I will cut you. Will cut you. Sit it down. You sit you, it down. You, you people, you came by where you think you will stay alive. I will kill one of you. I will kill one of you today. Nonsense. Evil men. Evil. Um, my people, uh, what has happened has happened. Eh? Uh, though. Our Igwe, the white lion, is dead and gone. But we, that are still alive, will continue living. So, as the Ojiofo of this kingdom, Obodoma, I hereby confirm Chifaku here to become our next Igwe, instead of uh, our dead Igwe, the white lion. Eh? Oh! May his soul rest in peace. Amen. Um, so, oh no, uh, let's go to the throne room and call him immediately. Oh no, Mom. to the throne room. Hey, all of you are fools. All of you, all the cheers are fools. Disgrace to the color of your caps, the tradition of this land. Fools, walk in there. Go to the throne. Let me see how he will walk up there and sit on that throne. Come on, more. If I need him, my God, I need him. Let me see. Let me know whether it is the drum that beats human or human that beats the drum. Hey, you. Ako, whatever you call yourself, you will never, never be the king of this kingdom. Never, no way. Yes, Ako, whatever they call you, you will never be the king of this kingdom. Mokawa, let me warn you, whatever antiques you come with, you will never rule this kingdom. Do not stand on the way of the gods. I am not standing in the way of the gods. It is your selfishness that is driving you. But let me tell you, if you know the amount of money you have collected from this fool, go and give it back to him because he will never be the king of this kingdom. How dare you? How dare you people challenge, challenge me? How dare you know? Don't worry. Look, oh no, let me tell you. You can never change the mind of the people who put over kingdom. You At all. Exactly. Over my dead body shall you rule this kingdom. You will never. You will never sit on that throne. Over your dead body. Okay then. We shall see. I will make you understand that I'm fully prepared today. I am prepared. We shall see. This is my wonderful, wonderful husband. The new king of this kingdom. Sure, we never walk. Sure. We came prepared. For your information, just look at them. Look at all of them. Fools! Yes, I know that your mission is deadly. You have a deadly mission in this palace, you Princess Adenza. But I tell you this, you must regret all of this. You must regret Princess Adenza. Maka no kuko ana ha don't do tu ano maka gono. A fowl can swallow a needle, but will never live to boast of it. You. Who cares? You have fallen to the ground. You are underneath me. You are beneath me, my darling. Chief Aku here will be our next Igwe. Mom. Eche Akunawa. You will go crown him our next Igwe. Exactly. Time is ticking and we must bury our dead. Sure, my people. What has happened has happened. Mm -hmm. We cannot die with the dead. Never. What has happened has happened. Mm -hmm. eh? 
Uh, we will bury our late king, the white lion, yes. as life continue going on. So, ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> The mouth that speak evil will speak good now. No, our king is alive. Our king is alive. Good people of Obodama. Let me make it clear that I am still very much alive, <laughs> hale and hearty. However, I am a king who's been constantly accused of loving his people more than they love him. And so I decided to play this little prank on all of you just to see how far you can go for your dear king. Just to see how much sacrifice you're willing to make. Had I been sick, as claimed, all I needed from all of you standing here was just one kidney. Just one. But indeed I was surprised by the turn of events. I don't think you know your subjects too well. They don't like you. Not even a single one of them. I know why I'm saying this repeatedly. They don't care about you. Even if you try hard, they only care about your money and what they want from you and nothing else. I'm on this earth to do right by people and care for my people. I'm not here to begin to see who likes me or who does not like me. Everyone cannot like you. But as long as I can do good for my people from my heart, I'm just fine. I challenge you to test their loyalty because it's heartbreaking to feed the python that will stink you to death at the end. I'm too sick to test anyone's loyalty. I have wisdom. I am king and I know that he who has to feed a python would have to be very careful. I am good to my people. And that's all that matters to me. I dare say. I am to seek for this kind of conversation. I am sick. Very, very sick. Constantly, a daisy. Reminded me that I am not loved by my people. She constantly said to me, White lion, you feed pythons as your brothers. All these people do not love you as much as you love them. But I decided to take your advice. I gave her the impression that truly I was ill. But I ask you all today, was she right or wrong? She might not be one of my favorite persons, but I dare to say that she has opened my eyes to the fact that truly I have fed pythons, loved enemies as family. 
I had everything. I had all the conversations in the palace. And to all the elders of my cabinet wanting to install Chief Ako as the new Igwe while I am still alive and breathing, I see all of you. Today I hereby expel all of you from my cabinet. <laughs> I said it. Oh, my great. I thank you so much for playing that dead star. Mala, please don't try it again. I always commit suicide on my way here. <laughs> but I said, one of the chairs must follow me if I have to die. <laughs> Indeed, your love is pure. Your love is true. Your love is deep. Your love is sincere. Miriam, you are my true subject. I saw everything, I heard everything. And I would not forget. Obina. My lord. Get on your knees. Miriam, today, I bless the union between you and Obinna, the man that truly owns your heart. Yes, Women like you are rare to find. Your love for this man is indeed true. Your love for him is steadfast. Obina, you're a good man. And today I bless this union. It's a... Go ahead and get married. You have my support. I'll support you spiritually. I'll stand by you physically. I'll be with the both of you every step of the way as a king of Obodoma. A... I hereby gift you a sum of 200 million naira. Igwe! It was a beautiful duplex in the United Kingdom. Igwe! We are not One lion! We are not on that at all. Oh. Yes. Yes. My dear Juliana. The love of my youth. Stop crying. I should be the one crying because I know that I have hurt you so much. But today is not for tears, my darling. Today I appreciate you in front of everyone for being so steadfast. Thank you for loving me beyond my faults. Thank you for being very steadfast. In spite of myself, you held on and you believed that our love would stand the test of time. Because you are the one who sees the things that I cannot see and hears the things that I can't hear, it is very clear that I cannot rule Obodoma without you. And so I ask you, in the presence of good people here, will you be my wife once again? Yes. Yes, I will. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Are you disturbed? What is the matter, Father? Talk to me. What is going on with you? The worst has happened. What?
What happened? Please speak to me. Talk to me. What happened? I got a call from the presidency that I've been removed from office. Ah. I'm no longer the minister of petroleum and natural resources. Father, tell me you are joking. This is not true, right? I wish I can say that, my daughter. Everything is gone. I've lost everything. King Ikimba has finished me. He has ruined my life. Did I hear you say King Ikimba? What did he do? I have it on good authority that he was responsible for my removal. He called the presidency. That young man is wicked. He's evil. Father, you can't blame him. You caused it. I warned you. Remember? I did. I told you to give King Ikemba what is due to him and his kingdom. But you refused. You insisted. Taking more than half of what the federal government allocated to them for the oil that was found in their land. Hmm? <laughs> so why are you blaming me now? All I did, I did because of you. Oh, Father, please. You didn't do this because of me. Huh? You never did. It is because of your own selfishness. Yes. Father, you pushed me to that kingdom with all my beauty and brain to be insulted, humiliated by King Ikemba. Oh, I regret listening to you. In fact, I regret having you as my father. You are evil. Evil man. Excuse me. I finished. Generous King Guy, what you don't know when you're there, no one. If I get in, no one can't. And better for no man ever. If we get my one, the white lion, nigga, I'm going to be a small bit, Sally, Sally. A chef will give up, a chef will give up. You know the best thing for money. Uh, what can money? What can be there? What can be there? It's helping the people. Man of good will, he will. You know the axe for the world. What can money? But you can show. But you can show. Only when they see more be sally sally. A chef will give up, a chef will give up. You know the best thing for money. What can money? What can be there? What can be there? It's helping the people. Man of good will, he will go. He not the axe for the world. Maka wai, but you can show. Only when they see more be sally sally. A chef will give up. He not the best thing for money. Maka wai, what can be there? He's helping the people. Man of good will, he will go. He not the axe for the world. Maka wai, but you can show. You are pure in heart, loved by many. Ipesi bomanu, meloko giga baniru. Our kingdom is blessed, having you as our king. Your kingship has touched everyone's life. May your days be long.